Dioceses play a pivotal role in the organizational structure and missions of the Catholic Church. They are fundamental to the Church's ability to effectively spread and uphold its teachings, provide pastoral care, and serve the spiritual needs of its members. After the awe-inspiring elevation of the Catholic Diocese of Isiolo, it's time for another glorious celebration. For over 50 years, the Catholic Diocese of Machakos has been a beacon of faith, hope and charity in Machakos and Makwini counties, and it continues to inspire and uplift the hearts of all who come in contact with it. On the 22nd of July 2023, Pope Francis erected the Diocese of Wote and designated Great Reverend Paul Karyokin Jiru, who has been the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Embu, as the first Bishop of the new Diocese, adding up the total number of dioceses in Kenya to 26. Join us for this momentous occasion on Saturday, September 30th this year at St. Joseph the Waka in Wote Town, Makweni County, starting at 10 a.m. This celebration will be presided over by His Excellency Archbishop Bart Van Megan, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan. Capuchin TV will bring you this event live on our social media platforms. Save the date. Come as a community to celebrate our faith. Join us for this momentous occasion on Saturday, September 30th this year at St. Joseph the Waka in Wote Town, Makweni County, starting at 10 a.m. Your Catholic Identity Channel. <laughs> Kuchin TV popote pale ulipo na karibu kwa matangazo haya moja kwa moja tuko kwenye county ya Makweni kwenye mji wa wote ambapo katika historia ya kanisa katoliki hapa nchini inazinduliwa jimbo mpya jimbo la eh, wote kama mji huu wa wote unavyoitwa ni sherehe ambayo ilianza hiyo jana kwa kumkaribisha askofu mteule wa kwanza kwenye jimbo hili mhashamu um, Paul Kariuki Njiru ambaye ame aga ameondoka amehama kutoka jimbo katoliki la embu ameteuliwa na baba mtakatifu Francisco awe askofu wa kwanza tuko kwenye uwanja wa shule ya Unoa kando ya kanisa kando ya katedrali teule ya mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyakazi hapa inatarajiwa kwamba wageni watafika kutoka pembe zote kati ya wageni wale ni magavana magavana wanaotarajiwa gavana wa hapa nyumbani gavana Mutula Kilonzo junior na gavana wa kule nyumbani ambapo anatoka askofu askofu Paul Kariuki a uh, governor Cecil Mbarire kati ya wengine tuko hapa tunaendelea kudiandaa katika sherehe hii na pengine kutathmini kiini cha siku ya leo kiini cha sherehe hii ni padre ambaye ni mwenzetu katika kazi padre uh, uh, Boniface Mukwe ambaye atatuambia atatu kidogo kuhusu kuhusu kazi hii padre karibu tumsifu Yesu Kristo melela amina Eh, tuambie kuhusu eh, mambo ya kanisa uteuzi ama uteuzi wa askofu kuzinduliwa kwa kwa jimbo kuna maanishaje katika katika maisha ya kanisa hapa nchini ah wapendo wa Mungu tumsifu Yesu Kristo tunapojumuika pamoja katika nchi yetu au katika nchi yetu ya Kenya na tunapomshukuru Mungu kwa baraka ya jimbo jipya la 26 kiongeza pamoja na ile military ordinary uh, tunaona kanisa katika nchi ya Kenya linakuwa kwa kasi na ningependa kumshukuru Papa Francisco kwa kuona umuhimu na kupitia kupokea ushauri kutoka mwakilishi wake hapa njini uh, askofu mkuu Megan na pia maaskofu wetu wa, wa, wa majimbo mengine Tunamshukuru sana Papa Francisco kwa kutupatia jimbo jipya katika nchi yetu ya Kenya jimbo la wote. Labda pengine mtazamaji anajiuliza 
ni nini hicho ambacho kina kina kinaamua kwamba sasa eneo hili ni jimbo tumezoea kuundwa kwa parokia hatujazoea sana hapa nchini kuundwa kwa jimbo uh, um, na, naweza kusema kuna mambo kadhaa yanachangia kwa kuongeza jimbo katika eneo fulani au katika nchi fulani ya kwanza ni umatu wa watu watu idadi ya waumini wanapoongezeka Uh, basi kanisa linaona umuhimu kwa sababu askofu mchungaji wa watu mchungaji uh, anayemwakilisha Kristu katika nafasi mbalimbali mbali, lazima awe so nasema jambo la pili kwamba askofu awe na uwezekano wa kutembelea parokia mbalimbali kukutana na mapadri kukutana na waumini kwa kutolea sakramenti hasa ya kipa imara ili kwa mwaka angalau askofu aweze kutembelea parokia zote na kuangalia hali ya kitume katika parokia hizo kuwa na muda na mapadi kujua changamoto wanazopitia kujua waumini mahitaji yao ni yapi kama wanaendelea kupata huduma vizuri za kiroho kama basi uinjilishaji unaendelea vizuri so askofu ana jukumu kubwa muhimu sana na hasa kuangalia mambo ya familia uinjilishaji vikundi mbalimbali vya uinjilishaji kama CMA CWA youth PMC vikundi hivyo jumuiya ndogo ndogo zinaendelea namna gani katika eneo hilo so hapo mwanzoni kabla ya jimbo hili kuundwa ambalo linazindulua rasmi leo kwa kuzimikwa kwa askofu ambaye atakuwa askofu wa kwanza wa jimbo hili jipya la wote tuliona kwamba jimbo uh, la machako zilikuwa na parokia nyingi zaidi ya sabini na nane na kwa kweli askofu angeweza kwa mwaka mzima kutembelea parokia hizi mbalimbali uh, hata angetembelea nne kwa, kwa, kwa mwezi tunaona ya kwamba ingekuwa labda nne kwa time tolo ingekuwa parokia uh, 48 hivi kwa hivyo parokia bado 30 na 30 hazingeweza kufikiwa na askofu kwa hivyo hekima ya kanisa na busara ya kanisa ni jambo mzuri so tunataka kumshukuru sana mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu hapa njini na kuwashukuru pia maaskofu wetu kwa kuona umuhimu na uh, waraka wa kuwa na jimbo ili jipya la wote baada ya askofu kuhama kule jimbo la embu sasa jimbo la embu litakuwa wazi kuanzia leo kanisa tu itafanya nini sasa kuhakikisha kwamba tena waumini wa embu hawabaki bila mchungaji nini kitaangaliwa basi mpaka askofu mpya atapozimikwa atakapokalisha kwenye kiti chake sasa itakuwa rasmi kwamba jimbo la embu la embu alitakuwa na askofu na najua kanisa uh, mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu amekuwa akifanya bidii hiyo na tunampongeza sana tunashukuru Mungu kwa baraka ya uwepo wake hapa njini najua sasa ya mikakati ya kutafuta askofu wa kuendeleza kazi za kitume na kichungaji katika embo la embo itafanyika kwa haraka na naamini itachukua muda mrefu kabla jimbo ile kupata askofu mwingine askofu nisha amesha amesha simikwa kuwa askofu kwa hivyo hakuna kum, hakuna kumpaka mafuta na tunaona kwamba kwamba hakuna daraja kwa hivyo nini hicho ambacho kitafanyika hasa kwa sababu ye tayari ni askofu kalishwa kwenye kiti tu na hapo jimbo mpya kutangazwa rasmi sasa litachukua hatua kutoka hapo mapadi nafikiri kumekuwa na mipango mingi nzuri mapadri wa wapande hii watapia kutoa heshima zao ile ahadi ya uti kwa askofu kwamba watashirikiana na askofu kwa minyadili ya kuendeleza jimbo hili nami ningewaomba waumini wote popote pia na mapadri ambao watakuwa jimbo hili jipya waweze kuwa na mshikano mwema na askofu wao kuona kwamba uinjilishaji wa kina umeendelea vizuri imani safi kikristu katoliki imeendelea kufundishwa na, na kila mmoja ameendelea kuifahamu imani hii ameendelea kuipenda na endelea kuishi imani safi kikristu katika nafasi mbalimbali mbali za maisha yao kwa hivyo ombi langu kwa wote tunapomshukuru Mungu kwa baraka ya jimbo jipya tunayo kazi na hii mapadri na askofu na waumini waweze kujenga mshikamano huo mwema 
kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu ili jimbo hili liweze kunawiri na liweze kuendelea vizuri mbele na mbele zaidi. Asante sana Padre Mungu akubariki asante sana. Ni ma, uh, mazungumzo kati yetu na Padre Boniface Mukwe ambaye sio mgeni ambaye amekuwa uh, uh, mwanafu mm, 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 ama mwalimu wa waliturujia kwenye runinga ya Capuchin kati ya wengi ambao wametuzindikiza ni niki ni, 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 ni kikundi cha Patchish Insurance na tuko naye hapa bwana Francis Kianga Francis Kianga uh, tumsifu Yesu Kristu Patchish ni nini na mnafanya nini hapa leo Ah uh, Bajis ni Insurance Company tumeshukuru sana tunashukuru Mungu sababu tuko hapa siku ya leo. Ni Insurance Company ambayo ilianzishwa na kanisa Katoliki. So we are part of the children of KCCB. Uh, and we are happy everywhere there is an event for KCCB. We participate as part of the children and the Bajis Insurance Company is the only church affiliated insurance company in this country which takes care of the assets of the insurance company. Uh, um, uh, assets of the church, they have property, they have institutions which need to be covered. So we are happy to be part of water. We are very excited. This is my home, uh, home diocese. I'm very happy to be here personally. And uh, we are excited to be, to be part of this event. And it looks very exciting because there will be many opportunities coming up in this uh, new diocese. And uh, we should be on standby as budget insurance company to ensure provide solutions on how to cover their risks and also provide the way forward even for the community and the parishioners of these diocese. So we are prepared to work together with the new bishop and the whole team in the diocese of Wote to sustain the business and to grow and evangelize uh, together. 19 years, Pachi Insurance has been here, has been around, has been in this game for 19 years. What's your success story over the years in the summary? Very good. Uh, Yes, we, last year we were 18 years and we said if we were human beings we would be getting an ID card. We are now 19 years. The company was started in the year 2005 um, and it was started basically to take care of the assets of the church. Just to provide insurance solutions for the church assets. Now you can imagine 2005 it was registered in September. So the first four months the company was able to do a premium of 12 million in four months. So 2006, our whole year now, we were able to do 92 million. So we saw potential, and now it means we, there was a lot to be done. So that then continued up to the year 2015, when there was a lot of outcry. This company now needs to go uh, to the ground. Machinani, all the parishioners were calling, we also need a branch. So 2015, the company started branches to go down. So we got seven branches in 2015. We got a branch in Mombasa, Kisumu, Endoret, Nakuru, Meru, Thika, CBD. Seven branches were opened. Then later we added other satellite branches. We have a satellite in Bugoma, a satellite in Nyeri, and a satellite in Embu. So we have a whole ten to take care of the machinani business. And that journey has been very good because the 2015 year, we were able to do a premium of 837 million. That year alone, just by expanding. 807 million. Now that then continued up to the year 2020 when the COVID came. We were able to do 1.4 billion. Then uh, 2022, 2022, we were shy of 2 billion, 1.9 billion around there. Uh, and then 2022, we, we launched a strategic plan for three years, which is going to take us this year to 3 billion. And we are on the journey to the 3 billion. Uh, and then we started, uh, the strategic plan says we want to be the only charge affiliated. 5 billion technology driven company by 2024 and we are on that journey to that to that position yes now looking forward in the near future or in the, near, in the not 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 distant future or in the future what are your plans as a company in terms of outreach and programs yes thank you very much uh, we are saying as patches being the only charge affiliated insurance company and when you look at the economy of the country and what is happening to the other companies we seem to be the only company to be left standing because we have the church and we have seen all the other religious bodies are coming home and they want to work with us. Meaning, we only need to keep that journey of faith and stick to our core values and then we stand firm and we stick to our word. And uh, that is why we have now the Karian call that Jipange Napaches. And we are saying everybody at Jipange Napaches from now going forward because all the staff are now involved in the strategic plan. Everybody is excited. There's a lot of energy in the company. 
and everybody is part of this journey. And we are saying, Jipange na Pachis, and uh, there is something happening in the near, nearest future, in the next few days. A lot is happening, and we are telling people, uh, watch this space, Jipange na Pachis. Otherwise, it was for Jipange na Pachis, Utapangwa. Yes, so we are excited, and uh, we are very excited for the future, because we have a very great future, and we want everybody at Jipange, otherwise at Pangwa. Yes, we are Finally, and uh, your message to the uh, new Bishop of Water, to the Catholic faithful in Water, what is your party's message to them? Uh, I'm excited because uh, the new Bishop, Reverend Kariuki, we have worked with him uh, in the Diocese of Embu. He has really been very supportive to us. All the business of the parishioners in Embu is in Pachis. And now when the man was announced to come to Wote, we knew now this is another opportunity. We have already discussed with him, we have shared a lot of information, and uh, already we have started groundwork in Wote. And Wote was part of Machakos. And we, used, we had the business for Wote through Machakos. But now with the split, we are coming home to the ground and we want to be devoted to Wote and work with the new bishop to open new parishes, new dinaries, bring the parishioners together and we do the business together the way we are supposed to do. And we are excited because Kariuki is part of us and the bishop is ready to work with us and already we have laid the ground and we are excited about the journey ahead. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Purchase insurance. We God bless you. Thank you for being our partners. Thank you. Thank you very much and we look forward to a better day. Thank you. Francis Kianga, uh, 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 one of the many partners who f uh, who are supporting us behind the scenes from Apache's Insurance, 19 years on this game of uh, ensuring Catholic uh, businesses, Catholic companies, and Catholic individuals. Tuko kwenye uwanja wa shule ya unoa, hapa kwenye mji wa wote, kwenye county ya makueni, ambapo ibada ya misa inakaribia kuanza, kusimi kwa rasmi askofu wa kwanza, kwenye jimbo hili, Katoliki la wote kukudulisha kwamba jimbo hili lilitangazwa ama lilimegwa kutoka jimbo la Machakos na likatangazwa kuwa jimbo uh, tarehe ya 22 ya mwezi wa saba tarehe 22 ya mwezi wa saba tunakumbuka kumbukumbu ya mtakatifu Maria Magdalena na pia ni kumbukumbu kumbu ya kuzaliwa kwangu hata mimi si mchache uh, wakatoliki waliopo kwenye eneo sasa hili jipya la wote ama jimbo jipya ni takriban 300 tisa alfu mia tatu themanina tisa alfu wakatoliki ikiwa ni asili mia therathina tisa ya wakaji wote wa eneo na kaunti ya makueni mapadre ambao wameingizwa na kanisa kwenye jimbo hili jipia ni mapadre tisini ambao ni eh, tisini pamoja na mapadre wengine tisa wa mashirika ya kitawa Mapadre hao ama eneo hili la wote jimbo Teule linahudumiwa na parokia 31 31 parokia ambazo sasa ziko katika eh, jimbo Jipia na uh, katedrali ambayo ni Teule pale ambapo baba askofu eh, eh, Kariuki ame hapa kiapo jana katedrali ile ya mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyakazi hapa katwenye mji wa wote na ni mji mkuu wa kaunti hii ya Makweni ambapo kama tulivyotangaza ama unavyojua mtazamaji ni kwamba gavana bwana gavana Mutula Kilonzo uh, Junior na anatarajiwa kuwa atafika hapa uwanjani kama mwenyeji bila shaka kumpongeza na alikuwa pia kwenye kwenye sala ya jioni hiyo jana ya kumpongeza askofu mpya askofu Paul Kariuki Njiru alizaliwa uh, tarehe ya 11 ya mwezi wa machi mwaka 1963 kwa hivyo ana umri wa miaka 60 ame alitawazwa kuwa padre tarehe ya 3 ya mwezi wa kwanza januari mwaka 1993 vile vile kwa hivyo uh, ana uzoefu wa huduma ya upadre aliwekwa kuwa askofu wa tatu kwenye jimbo katoliki la embu tarehe ya tisa ya mwezi wa mei mwaka wa mbili na kumina, uh, mwaka wa mbili na tisa na kwa hivyo basi amehudumu kwenye jimbo la embu kwa takriban miaka kumi na minne alitangazwa siku hiyo hiyo ambayo jimbo imetangazwa kuwa askofu mteule wa kwanza kwenye jimbo hili la wote tarehe 22 ya mwezi wa saba mwaka huu na hii leo atasimikwa rasmi kuwa askofu wa kwanza kwenye jimbo hili la wote basi kama unaviona uwanja umejaa pomoni eh, waumini walei mapadri na watawa 
uh, wamejaa katika uwanja huu na bila shaka wengi sio wa katoliki ni katika uh, mantiki hiyo ambapo tunaona viongozi mbalimbali wa uh, madhehebu mengine wamejumuika katika uwanja huu kuweza kushiriki pamoja na kanisa katoliki kumbuka kwamba kanisa katoliki lina uwezo wa kuleta pamoja waumini eh, wa uh, uh, ma, ma, madhehebu mbalimbali imani mbalimbali na kama tunavyoona kwamba uh, bila shaka uh, ndugu zetu wa madhehebu mengine wame, wamefika katika uwanja huu ikiwa leo tarehe ya 30 na 30 ya mwezi huu tisa kwenye kalenda ya watakatifu kati ya wale ambao tunawaheshimu ni mtakatifu Jerome uh, mtakatifu Jerome ambaye alikuwa uh, uh, hodari katika uh, maandiko matakatifu kutafsiri uh, maandiko matakatifu na kufundisha mtakatifu Jerome ambaye pia anajulikana kama jina la Hieronymus kwa hivyo ni siku ya somo uh, wake mhashamu askofu Hieronymus Joya Capuchin TV tunamtakia askofu Hieronymus Joya wa Jimbo Katoliki la Marara Baraka za siku ya mtakatifu somo wake wengine ambao tunawaheshimu kama kanisa katoliki ni mwenye heri Felicia ambaye alikuwa uh, mwanamke msichana katika nchi nchi ya Italia tunamheshimu tena mtakatifu Laurus ambaye amezaliwa nchi ya Wales jina la kiume na tunamheshimu pia mtakatifu Eusebia jina la kike alikuwa sister na masomo ya leo katika ibada ya leo somo la kwanza limetoka katika kitabu cha hesabu hesabu sura ya 11 mstari wa 11 hadi 25 zaburi ni ile ya 84 tazama bwana ameweka kiti chake kati ya wanadamu maana yake ni kwamba ni kwamba uh, 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 Mwenyezi Mungu ametaka ame kwamba uh, akae tia watu wake na tunaona kwamba wanaendelea kufika hapa uh, viongozi wa serikali magavana ndio wanaingia na magari yao hapa ma, e, 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 mbele ya altare basi hata hivyo kazi ya Mungu inaendelea na um, somo la pili ni kutoka waraka wa kwanza wa mtakatifu Paulo ama mtakatifu Petro kwa watu wote sura ya tano na mstari wa kwanza hadi nne anasema yeye ni mzee na bila shaka askofu ni mzee katika eh, kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu na basi ni mwaliko bila shaka mafunzo ya masomo haya yatatolewa na msimikaji mkuu askofu mkuu Bart van Megen. Injili tunakutana na Yesu katika injili kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Yohane sura ya kumi sura ya kumi ya Yohane Yesu ongea kuhusu uchungaji akisema yeye ni mchungaji mwema na mchungaji mwema huwatunza kondoo wake kati ya wengi ambao wanatarajiwa kufika hapa na wameshaanza kufika ni mwadhama John Cardinal Njue askofu mkuu msta kwenye jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi askofu Joseph Mairura uh, kutoka jimbo katoliki la Kisi na msafara ndio huu ambao unaendelea kufika Uh, tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu na tunamuomba aweze kusikiliza sala zetu atujalie tunayo muomba kwa imani asikilize sala za wazazi wetu wa Kongwe walio manyumbani na hasa tukiendelea kuwaombea wanafunzi ambao wanajiandaa katika mitihani yao tujiunge kwenye sala hii kuu ya kanisa anasimikwa leo rasmi askofu wa kwanza Jimbo Katoliki la wote mwashamu Paul Karuki Njiru jiunge nasi katika sala hii la mapweni kwa yale upande wa mkono wa kushoto wale wengine waje upande wa mkono wa kulia the peace serving in mote will go to my left hand side the others will move to my right hand side Diocese will move to my left hand side the others will move to my right hand side
kwamba tujipange wale wanahudumu katika jimbo la wote will move to my left hand side the others will move to my right hand side Naomba mapadri wapewe nafasi katika hizo hema walizotengewa. Let us give priority to our priests in the tents reserved for them. Ashes CMA make sure that one is done. The priest serving in Wote will move to my left hand side. The others will move to my right hand side. Kwa inayotuongoza ni muungano wa waimbaji kutoka upande huu wa wote na pia kutoka upande wa Machakos tunaendelea kujiandaa na ibada takatifu ya misa ikiwa tuko kwenye uwanja wa shule ya Unoa kando ya kanisa katedrali Teule kati ya maaskofu ambao wamefika katika sherehe ya leo ni mwashamu askofu Wilibad Kitogo Lago Jimbo Katoliki la Malindi mwashamu askofu Dominic Kimenguchi Jimbo Katoliki la Eldoret mwashamu askofu Joseph Mbatia Jimbo Katoliki la Nyahururu Mwashamu askofu David Kamau Nganga msaidizi Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi Mwashamu askofu Joseph Mongela Jimbo Katoliki la Kitui Mwashamu askofu Anthony Ireri Mukobo Jimbo Katoliki la Isiolo Mwashamu askofu Saleshis Mugambi Jimbo Katoliki la Meru Mwashamu askofu Joseph Obanyi Sagwe Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega Mwashamu askofu mstaafu Lipsulumeti mzee wa kazi Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega Mwashamu askofu Peter Kihara Jimbo Katoliki la uh, Marasabit Mwashamu askofu John Obala Owa Jimbo Katoliki la Ngong Mwashamu askofu Cleophas Oseso Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru Mwashamu askofu Mark Kadima Jimbo Katoliki la uh, Bungoma Mwashamu askofu John Binda Jimbo Katoliki la Lodwa Mwashamu askofu Henry Juma Odonyi Jimbo Katoliki la Kitale Mwashamu askofu Cornelius Michael Odiwa Jimbo Katoliki la Homabe Mwashamu askofu Alfred Rotich Jimbo Katoliki la Kericho Mwashamu askofu 
mkuu Maurice Muhati ya Makumba Jimbo kuu la Kisumu mwashamu askofu Norman wa Mboa Kingoo Jimbo la uh, Machakos mwashamu askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subiranyolo Jimbo kuu la Nairobi na askofu mkuu Antone Muheria Jimbo kuu la Nyeri bila shaka kiongozi wa ibada mhashamu askofu mkuu Bart Van Megen mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu hapa nchini jiunge na sala hii kuu ya kanisa tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yote aliyotutendea kama kanisa hapa nchini tuketi kwa muda naomba tuketi kwa muda na tutulie sasa umati ni mkubwa nafasi ama viti vilivyo andaliwa havitutoshi kwa sasa lakini tuwe na subira kunao mipango ambayo inaendelezwa sote tutaweza kutulia Na mlitaji go dancers just remain where you are. Usiondoke, usiondoke. Na mkaribisha mwashamu baba askofu wa jimbo la Machakos. Reverend Thomas Kimo aweze kutukaribisha. Tumkaribisha kwa makofi baba askofu tukarani. Tumkaribiwe mtoto kazi kubwa. Jimbo jipe limefunguliwa uh, wakati wa uongozi wake. Tumshangilie zaidi baba askofu tafadhali. <laughs> Karibu baba askofu uweze kutukaribisha kwa kabisa wageni wetu. Mwe ni muzeo. Na mavi ndaonde. Na kwa huo. Na kwa huo. kwa niaba ya Jimbo ningependa mkaribisha mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu sio wetu but one megan ningependa kuwakaribisha maaskofu wakuu walio hapa ningependa kuwakaribisha maaskofu wengine na wakilishi wao ningependa pia kuwakaribisha mapadri wetu na masista upande ule mwingine kuna viongozi wa kisiasa najua governor wetu yuko hapa nasema thank you very much na wa machakos nasema pia thank you very much umetupatia heshima ambayo we can't express it thank you very much na viongozi wengine nimemwona deputy Chief Justice na wengine 
viongozi wetu wa bunge na wote tulio hapa mwiaini muzeo na mavi ndaombe wao na kwa ni mwia kana wote ambao tumekuja hapa hii ndio style yetu this is our style we never do things in half measures si ni kweli kwa hivyo naomba sasa mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu kuna mambo yataendelea tuwe watulivu mahali tulipo tafadhalini tuketi chini ili tuweze kusikia si ni kweli muweze kusikia wale amwezi kusikia muangalie kwa screen si ni kweli kwa maana we, we can't express it simefika simefika Dayo sisi tunayoka na tina yo. Dayo sisi tunayoka na tina yo. Kwa uti kalembi na indi tuyedhu kiesi atigo. Nikenda tuendo kwa metuki. Thank you very much and you are all most welcome. Wale siya wataja majina. You are all welcome. Kwa maana huku kuna hitu wa nini? Wote. Karibu wapi? Wote. Wote karibu wapi? Wote. Naomba tusimame sasa ili tuweze kuanza ibada ya misa. I request His Excellency the Apostolic Knut to be in the mass. Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu. Amani wekwenu. Mtuhoni mwako. I shouldn't even say it. Tumeketi ilituwese kwanza shere ya kwanzisha dayo sisi mpya ya wote na tutanza na creation of the Wote Catholic Diocese ambayo nunzio ataulizwa hili asajulishwa wakati ambao ijulikana ya kwamba iliteuliwa baada ya hapo ataulizwa kama kuna idini na ataulizwa kama inaweza kusomwa tutaonyeshwa barua ambao imeandikwa na baba mtakatifu hili ambao imeidhinisha hii diocese na itasomwa kwa lugha ya Kiingereza na lugha ya Kikamba kimalisa kusomwa tutaitikia wote tumshukuru Mungu kwa hivyo ninamwalika Father Patrick Ndonga hili aweze kuuliza kuuliza baba Nunzio ili aweze kuanzisha hii diocese Baba mheshimiwa sana tarehe 22 Julai mwaka wa 2023 saa nane mchana za Kenya Baba mtakatifu Francisco Alidhinisha eneo la makweni kuwa jimbo katoliki la wote. Je, mnayo hati ya kitume ya baba mtakatifu? Ndio tunayo. Na sio mwe. Taonyeshwa sasa na isomwe.
Father Maundu anaonyesha hiyo hati ambayo imeandikwa na Baba Mtakatifu. Tushangilie tafadhali. Tushangilie. Tushangilie, tushangilie. Asanti. Asanti. Hiyo hati ambayo tumeonyeshwa imeandikwa na lugha ya Latin. Sasa tutasomewa kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. Tusikilize vizuri. The deo, in Kenya the diocese of water is created from the dismembered territory of the diocese of Machakos. Francis Bishop servant of the servants of God for perpetual memory having become a new creation in Christ who came to know him according to the flesh moved by love let us bless him in our lives and in his name lift up our hands and rejoice under the cover of his wings because of his great mercy in our lives cognizant of our duties in the economy of salvation, aware of the progress of the human race and of our responsibility of humbly cooperating with the will of God. We turn our minds to the needs of the church that is in Kenya. In doing so, we have considered the welfare of the Lord's flock in the ecclesiastical jurisdiction of Machakos and following repeated requests have accepted that a new diocese should be erected. Having considered the matter at length and desirous that the gospel continue to spread, we are persuaded by the discussory for evangelization and by the wishes and prayers of all concerned that the acceptance of the requests made to us would be very beneficial for the salvation of souls. Therefore, in the fullness of our apostolic power, we have decided to separate the territory currently circumscribed by the boundaries of the district known by the local government as Makweni County from the Diocese of Machakos to which it has hitherto belonged. And from the territory that separated, we erect and establish a new diocese to be called Water. We set the seat of this new diocese in the city commonly known as Water, and raise the parish church existing there dedicated to God in honor of St. Joseph the Worker to the rank and dignity of a cathedral. In addition, we establish the new diocese of Wote as a suffragan of the Metropolitan Church of Nairobi and its Metropolitan Bishop, subject to the right of the Archbishop for the time being of the same Metropolitan Church. All the records and documents that may pertain to the new diocese and its clerics, faithful and temporal goods should be transmitted from the archive of Machakos to Wote as soon as possible and kept in a suitable archive in accordance with the law. All other matters shall be regulated according to the norms of the Code of the Canon Law and other provisions of ecclesiastical laws. At the same time as the establishment of the Diocese of Water has been put into effect, the priests holding ecclesiastical office in the territory shall be considered to have been enrolled in that diocese. But the other priests and the seminarians of that diocese should remain incardinated or be incardinated in that territory in which they have a legitimate residence. 
In order to accomplish all this, we delegate the venerable brother Hubertus Matthäus Maria van Megen, Archbishop with the title of Novaliciana and Apostolic Nuncio in Kenya, or in his absence from the sea, the charge the affairs of the Holy See in Kenya. They shall have the powers to delegate whatever functions are necessary in order to effect the establishment of the, mat of the new see in a manner that accord with the ecclesiastical dignity. Upon completion of the matter, they are to send as soon as possible an authentic copy of the completed act of execution to the discastery for evangelization. This constitution of ours is hereby ratified, regardless of anything to the contrary. Given at Rome, Lateran, on the 22nd day of the month of July, in the year of the Lord, 2023, the 11th of our pontificate, Francis Pope. Tujibu wote tumshukuru mungu. Asante. Sasa tutaisikia kwa lugha ya kikamba. Yuni tukwithu kiesi ya baluosu kwa kithiomo cha kikamba. Jimbo katoliki la wote ambayo ina undu wa siku ya leo. Eneo hili imani ilifika mwaka wa fumoja miatisa kuminambili imani ambayo imefikishwa hapa na mapadre wa misionari wa shirika la roho mtakatifu Holy Ghost Fathers kwa sasa wanajulikana kwa jina Spirit and Fathers ambapo waliweka kituo cha kwanza cha imani kwenye eneo la Kaba ambapo sasa hivi ni parokia kwenye eneo hili la Ukambani wakati ule eneo lote hilo lilikuwa chini ya uchungaji na usimamizi katika jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi Ujumbe wa baba mtakatifu ambao umesomwa kwa lugha ya Kiingereza unasomwa kwa lugha ya mama lugha ya wenyeji lugha ya kikamba eneo hili la wote liliweza kuingizwa katika eneo la jimbo la Machakos ambayo ilitangazwa rasmi kuwa jimbo ikikatwa kutoka eneo la jimbo la Nairobi mwaka elfu moja mia tisa sitini na tisa mwezi wa mei askofu wa kwanza wa eneo hilo ambalo lilikuwa jimbo jipya la Machakos akiwa marehemu askofu Rafael Simon Dingi mwana Anzeki ambaye alihudumia kama askofu wa kwanza kuanzia mwaka huo wa moja mia tisa Sitini na tisa hadi mwaka alfu moja mia tisa sabini na mbili. Askofu wa pili kwenye jimbo la Machakos ambapo wakati uo huo ilikuwa kwenye eneo la wote ama eneo la wote ilikuwa kwenye jimbo hilo la Machakos alikuwa askofu Urbanus Kioko ambaye alikuwa askofu kati ya mwaka wa alfu moja mia tisa sabini na tatu hadi mwaka wa alfu mbili na mbili askofu wa tatu kwenye jimbo la uh, Machakos ikiwa ndani yake ni eneo hili la wote akawa mhashamu askofu Martin Kivuva Musonde ambaye kwa sasa ndiye askofu mkuu jimbo kuu la Mombasa na askofu wa nne akawa ndiye sasa ambaye ni of Skofu Norman Kingo wa Mbua Baba mtakatifu anasema kwamba kutokana na ongezeko la imani na waumini kwenye eneo hili ameona inafaa iweze kukatwa iweze kumagwa kutoka jimbo katoliki la Machakos ikiwa inawekwa kwenye mji wa wote na kiti chake ama katedrali ikiwa kwenye mji wa wote kanisa ambalo liko kwenye uchungaji na usimamizi 
kuwa mapadre wa jimbo kwa heshima ya mtakatifu Yosefu mfanya kazi jimbo jipya jimbo teule la wote linaingizwa kwenye mkusanyiko wa majimbo ama safragan ya Nairobi ama ecclesiastico C ama metropolitan province ya Nairobi ikiwa inakuwa mojawapo ya majimbo sita ambayo yako kwenye eneo la jimbo kuu la Nairobi kumbuka kwamba maeneo ya kikanisa yako chini ya jimbo kuu nne hapa nchini jimbo kuu la Mombasa ambalo linashika jimbo la Malindi na jimbo la Garissa jimbo kuu la Nairobi linashika jimbo kuu la Nairobi yenyewe jimbo la Kitui jimbo la Machakos jimbo la Ngong jimbo la Nakuru jimbo la Kericho na uh, jimbo la Kitui na sasa ni jimbo la wote ambalo linaongezeka kuanzishwa kwa jimbo hili linamaanisha kwamba mapadre ambao wako kwenye maeneo ya wote ambao walikuwa kwenye jimbo la Machakos wanakuwa moja kwa moja mapadre wa jimbo la uh, wote ikiwa kutokana na takwimu za tarehe ya 22 ya mwezi wa saba mwaka huu jimbo lililo lilipomegwa ni takriban mapadre tisini ambao sasa ni mapadre wa jimbo jipya la wote anatumwa mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu ama baba mtakatifu anamuita ndugu yetu mkuu Kurbetus Maria Mateus van Megen mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu aweze kuangalia maswala hayo maana yake ni kwamba atahakikisha kwamba jimbo jipya limesimamishwa na ikifuatwa sheria kanuni na desturi za kanisa katoliki la ugavi wa maeneo ya kichungaji anasema baba mtakatifu kwamba mambo hayo yakishaangaliwa na kuwekwa sabamba basi ikiwezekana na kama inavyowezekana chini ya wi, eh, wa, wizara ya kikanisa ya uendeshaji wa injili jimbo hilo liweze kutangazwa hii ni kulingana na utaratibu wa kanisa barua hiyo ya kumegwa kutangazwa na kukwezwa kwa eneo la wote kwa jimbo iliandikwa na baba mtakatifu tarehe 22 ya mwezi wa saba na baba mtakatifu mwenyewe Francisco mwaka wa moja katika uchungaji wake baba mtakatifu Francisco kuamini kwamba uh, waraka wa baba mtakatifu aliyoutoa kumega kati kumega jimbo la wote umesamwa umeshasomwa na sasa anakwezwa anasimi kwa rasmi askofu Paul Karu kikumbuka kwamba yeye tayari ni askofu kwa hivyo hakuna kupewa daraja maana yake hakuna kupa kwa mafuta atakalishwa kwenye kiti chake cha kazi kiti cha uaskofu na uh, kiongozi mkuu wa ibada Hashamu Pat van Megen mama kanisa katoliki mtakatifu Naomba kumsimika huyu ndugu yetu askofu Paul Kariuki kuwa askofu wa njimbo katoliki la wote. Je, mnayo hati ya kitume ya baba mtakatifu? Ndio tunayo. Na isomwe. Niwakuli isomwe ni tu kwamba kumunya ni wengi liandikitwe na Kilatini ni je ikonwa maaskavu atoisi okaingi tumione hizo nde kila mundu tushangilie ni kwithi wakana barua wa kune wa askafu mweu wa diocese no nusu andikitwe na kilatini ngemisiba aume muiba siana muiba utanu itu idionde yujwe ndo ingi palu osunu kusoma 
kwa kidhiomo cha kisungu na wisi wakaingi usomwe kwa kidhiomo cha baada ya kumego ama kukatwaji na wote na basi tasoma barua ambayo inaweka askofu Paul Kariuki kama askofu wa kwanza imeandikwa na baba mtakatifu servant of the servants of God to the venerable brother Paul Kariuki Njiro hitherto the bishop of Embu the first appointed bishop of the diocese of Wote greetings and blessings hapa mbele kuna kelele kelele tafadhali tusikize vizuri ngoje kidogo Bishop Francis servant of the servants of God to the venerable brother Paul Kariuki Njiro hitherto the bishop of Embu the first appointed bishop of the diocese of Wote greetings and blessings as perseverance is undoubtedly the test of our good deeds let us persevere in that burning uh, desire for Christ because our prolonged desires will grow greater and in growing grasp what they have found. May he whom we naturally seek outwardly teach us to seek him in, in, inwardly. It is our constant concern that the commandments of the Lord and that the riches of his grace through which the salvation of the souls of the faithful and the growth of the church are secured be widely known it is these persistent concerns that lead us to meditate on the pastoral needs of the most beloved flock grazing in Kenya on this very day by the apostolic constitution nove creature we are erecting a new diocese inscribed with the name of water led by our desire to provide for its successful administration we hasten to add a suitable pastor for it we think of you then venerable brother who in your apostolic labors as a bishop of embu have shown gifts of heart and skill in action and you seem suitable to us to lead this part of the lord's flock accordingly having heard the advice of the dicastery for evangelization with fullness of our apostolic authority and by virtue of this letter we appoint you the first bishop of the newly established diocese of Wote, with due rights granted and corresponding obligations imposed we desire that to inform the clergy and the people of this ecclesial community of this decree of ours. May God so provide that under your guidance, this ecclesial community may live in sincerity and truth of Christ while constantly turning its eyes to the poor and the suffering, be found active and faithful stewards of the mystery of the Lord's kingdom given at law at rome lateran on the 22nd day of the month of july in the year of the lord 2023 the 11th of our pontificate francis paul <laughs> Ya kikamba Gedi Barua ya baba mtakatifu kwake eh askofu Paul Karuki Njiru inasomwa na lugha ya eneo hili lugha ya mama lugha ya kikamba akimwambia baba mtakatifu anamwandikia askofu Paul Karuki Njiru kwamba 
salamu na baraka kutoka kwetu mtumishi wa mtumishi wa Mungu kwako wewe ndugu yetu Paul Karo Kinjiru kwa sasa askofu wa jimbo la Embu na ambaye ameteuliwa kuwa askofu wa kwanza kwenye jimbo teule la Wote kutokana na na haja ya kueneza kazi ya Mungu kwa sababu ya kujua zaidi na kukua kwa imani Yesu mwenyewe aliyewatuma mitume kueneza injili ni jukumu letu kuhakikisha kwamba amri za Mungu na utajiri wa neema yake ambao ni wokovu wa nyayo zetu na ukuaji wa kanisa la Mungu uendelee kuenezwa kutokana na haja hizi imetusukuma kutafakari kuhusu kazi za kichungaji ambazo zinaendelea katika nchi ya Kenya na katika barua yetu ya viumbe vipya amba kwa lugha ya Kilatini baba mtakatifu aliandika nove kreature tuna zindua tuna tangaza eneo jipya la huduma za kanisa na tunaipatia jina ambalo linaitwa wote na tunakuchagua wewe ndugu yetu tukikufikiria katika kazi zako za kichungaji kwenye jimbo la Embu umeonyesha zawadi za ukarimu wa moyo na maarifa katika kuchunga kundi la Mungu kutokana na hicho kutokana na wizara ya uenezaji wa injili na uwezo tuliopewa wa kichungaji tunakuteua wewe uwe askofu wa kwanza wa jimbo hii mpya la wote ikiwa na haki zote zinazolingana na kazi hizo tunatamani kwamba utabajulisha mapadre na watu wote wa wa Mungu kuhusu nia hii yetu Mwenyezi Mungu akujalie hekima ya kuchunga watu wa Mungu na ukweli katika Kristo ukiangalia kwa macho ya kipekee masikini na wanaoteseka wale ambao umewekwa juu yao kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu barua hiyo imeandikwa tarehe 22 mwezi wa saba mwaka huu ikiwa ni mwaka wa moja wa uchungaji wetu kutoka Lateran makao makuu ya baba mtakatifu kama askofu wa mji wa Roma Kumbuka kwamba kiti cha baba mtakatifu akiwa askofu wa jimbo la Roma kiko kwenye kanisa la Lateran akiwa kwenye kiti cha kuongoza kanisa Kristo mfalme mlinzi wa kanisa la Jimbo Katoliki la Wote kwa mambezi ya mtakatifu Bikira Maria mama wa Mungu watakatifu Petro na Paulo mitume tunamweka na kumsimika askofu Paul Kariuki kuwa askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Wote kutweka kila na maaskofu wasimikaji wenza na anapotishwa kwenye kiti cha uaskofu kiti cha uchungaji na 
mhashamu Norman Wambua anamkabidhi fimbo ya uchungaji ameshika fimbo ambao maana yake ni kwamba ataendelea kuwa askofu wa kwanza sasa baada ya ku kitisha kwenye kiti na kupokea fimbo ya askofu ata askofu karuki atapongezwa na maaskofu wakimpongeza kwa askofu kumbuka kwamba sasa mji wa wote umehitimu ama umekwezwa katika ngazi ya sifa kumbuka kwamba mji wa wote ambao una viti vitatu vya uongozi na uamuzi basi nilikuwa ninafikia hadhi ambayo ni kuu zaidi katika katika uh, miji na hasa tukiangalia historia ya miji mikuu ya ulimwengu kwamba kiti cha kwanza ambacho kimeka kiko kwenye eneo hili la wote ni kiti cha serikali ama executive seat kuna kiti cha mahakama ama judicial seat na kiti ambacho kilikuwa kimebaki kwenye mji wa wote ni kiti cha kanisa ama ecclesiastical seat na sasa mji wa wote umekamilika unafanana na miji mingine mikuu duniani ambapo kuna kiti cha serikali maana yake kiti cha gavana kiko hapa mji wa wote kiti cha mahakama bila shaka kuna uh, hakimu ambaye makao yake eh, ni hapa wote na sasa kanisa linaweka kiti chake kwenye mji wa wote heshima kamili kwa mji wa wote pongezi mji wa wote pongezi jimbo katoliki la wote anatia sahihi sasa kwenye kitabu kwenye hati za kupokea uh, uongozi huo na baba mtakatifu um, wa baba mtakatifu askofu uh, Pat van Megen pia anaweka eh, sahihi kwenye eh, hati hiyo inamaanisha basi mamlaka yamegawiwa ama ugavi wa huduma za ugatuzi wa kanisa umekuja kwenye jimbo la wote Nipongezi na mashangilio ya waimbaji uh, ambapo mashahidi wanaweka sahihi zao as padre ambaye mchaguliwa kwa niaba ya wa mapadre wa jimbo teule askofu ambaye anakuwa katika eneo hili Norman Wambua Kingo na mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu Bak van Megen kutokana na kitendo hicho cha kusimikwa na kukalishwa kwenye kiti cha waskofu inamaanisha kwamba jimbo katoliki la embu liko wazi rasmi kuanzia siku ya leo bila shaka alipotangazwa kuwa askofu ni kumaanisha kwamba ahame lakini leo rasmi jimbo la embu liko wazi jimbo la wote limezaliwa kile tumeweka signature ama sahihi ni yeye akichukua jimbo la wote officially apostolic nuncio to kenya the college of consultors the clergy 
religious members of the Christian faithful and the chancellor of the Diocese of Machakos in St. Joseph the Walker, Wote, Kenya, having been shown all the present the apostolic letter of appointment of the right Reverend Paul Kariuki Jiro, first bishop of Wote, as required by Canon 382, paragraph 3, fulfilling the requirement of canon law, Bishop Paul Kariuki took possession of the diocese of Wote and assumed all rights and duties at its ordinary, given at Wote, Kenya, on that day of September 2023. Now you will be congratulated by the other bishops and archbishops. Cardinal India Nanza, congratulating the new bishop to Mesikia, he has taken possess possession of the diocese. Uyo ni Cardinal Iwetu. Ukona Bishop Sulumeti. Kwaya tunaweza kuendelea na wimbo mfupi. Wimbo wa congratulations tafadhali. Bishop Mairula. representatives, those who have come to represent their bishops also to give, to congratulate the bishop and the religious superiors. The religious superiors, please. Sister with the religious superiors after after the bishops I'm 
follow is pledging of loyalty by the various groups working at water beginning with all the priests who are working in the they will come and they pledge their loyalty to the bishop so that we can go faster. We are water. We are water. So that they can pledge their royalty. Let us pass in the front. Patrick water. They will pledge their royalty. Bishop will sit in his cathedral. Oh, oh, oh. 
Leader's only the representative of the leadership group. Nominations, those who are here, please. We had identified you. Please come forward. The religious leaders of other religions and the denominations. And after that, the government representatives only. So the religious leaders, without wasting time, come forward. We will receive congratulations from the religious leaders. We have two. Allow the government leaders, please. Only the representatives of government leaders, not everybody. We have the governor. Those are the government representatives. Representatives, please. Not everybody, only the representatives. the religious leaders.
is being congratulated by the government representatives. And after that, we will finish with the, the religious leaders. Asandi viongozi wetu, asandini viongozi wetu, asandini, asandini. Those are only the representatives you will meet with the bishop after Sheree Zetu Sikimani Zika. And lastly, you will be congratulated by the religious leaders and the denominational leaders in the diocese. <laughs> Takatifu, kuanzia tusimame wote haya kuongoze na gloria haya kuongoze na utukufu na kuwa na utukufu na collect alafu endelee na misa tusimame Let's go, 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 let's go
Mchunganje na kiongozi wakundi lote la waumini unitasame kwa wema wako mimi ulieniweka niwe mchunganji wa kanisa la njimbo la wote tunakuomba uninjalie ili kwa maneno na mvano nivae wale ninao wazimamia Nivae kuviki ya uzima wa mirere Mimi pamunja na kundi Ulironi kabithi Naomba hayo kwa njia mwana wa izu Kristu mwanao Anaishi na kutawari nawe katika umujoro mtakatifu Mungu daima na mirere Procession with the word of God.
Mustari wa kuminamoja hadi ishirini na tano. Ni mimi nilia wamba watu hawa ama ni mimi nilia waza. Lakini mwazo mungu wa naungea. Nina wezaji kuwa bebo watu hawa mpaka ni wapeleke katika. Nitonya kutongo esi anduwa hao ndeni nyoka. Uyaruni mwito muno kwa kwa. Edi wawa uenda kumbika huu. Nika vaha umbu wa yoyu. Edi wani nune ya tausio kwa kwa. Duka ndekini ende kwa na madhina ni na mo. Bwana Mungu aliongea na Musa kuhusu watu wako awateue wanaume 10 wanaume 72 na na atawapatia uwezo kwa hivyo Musa akawaweka waweke karibu naye atakuja kuongea na wewe kati kayo tamba unafanya nivoe ni medhi wa matonya kutedesa kuduku maandwa nikananu kwa kuwe muyo suwe weka nivoe ni mose wa india na arabia na anuma israeli unumu ya ingai wa asya ni waomba nisi atongo imiongo muonza na ama etama unga meme lingilita ye maedhewu ya kukoma ni anangai Mwia ingaini wadheye endi ni wajila etu na ane na na mose. Ni wosia umuwa beba ula wanengete mose na unenga atongo ya sumi ongo muonza. Jila beba usu waligile atongo ini asu ni maambie kwa adhana. Indi itina wawu. 
Mayada Nangi, that young guy. Tongoes on a responsorial sum, Nakwaya. Oh, 
Kingereza Somo la pili Somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Petro Wapendwa enyi wazee Elie mzee mwenzenu na shahidi wa matesa ya Kristo na mshirika wa utukufu utakaofunuliwa baadaye na wasihi Lichungeni kundi la Mungu mlio kabidhiwa na kulitunza. Sio kwa sababu ni wajibu wenu, bali kwa furaha kama Mungu atakavyo. Wala sio kwa ajili ya kujipatia faida chafu, bali kwa bidii ya moyo. Msijifanye mabwana kwa makundi yaliyoweka katika uchungani uchungaji wenu, bali muwe mifano kwa kundi zima na mchungaji mkuu atapokea atakapotokea mtapokea taji la utukufu isiyofifia neno la Mungu tusimame kwa shingilio Jenga kanisa langu Wala milango ya kuzimu haitali shinda Takatifu ilivyo andikwa na Yohane Wakati ule, Yesu alisema, Mimindimi mchungaji mwema. Mchungaji mwema utoa nafsi yake kwa ajili ya kondoo. Mtu wa mshara, asie mchungaji. Wala si mwenye kondoo, anapo mwona mbwa mwitu anakuja, huwaacha kondoo akakimbia. Na mbwa mwitu wakamata kondoo, na kuwatawanya kwa sababu yule ni mtu wa mshahara tu wala hawajali kondoo mimi ndimi mchungaji mwema na wajua walio wangu 
na walio wangu wanijua mimi kama vile baba anijuavyo mimi nami ni mjuavyo baba natoa nafsi yangu kwa ajili ya kondoo nina kondoo wengine wasio wazizi hili nao imenipasa kuwachunga watasikia sauti yangu na kutakuwa na kundi moja na mchungaji mmoja Injili ya Bwana Tuketi chini kwa mahubiri ya atakaopeanwa na the apostolic nuncio to Kenya Tafadhali tunauliza kila mtu wa kimye na tusikize mahubiri My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come here today to witness and celebrate a historic moment in the life of the church in Kenya, the installation of the first bishop of the newly erected Diocese of Wote. We thank God for his providence and guidance in this process, and we congratulate His Excellency Bishop Paul Kariuki, who has been chosen by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, to shepherd this flock of Christ. Bishop Karayuki, you have been entrusted with a great responsibility and a great privilege at the same time to be the successor of the apostles, the visible head and father of this local church, and as teacher, sanctifier, and leader of these people of God. You are called, as we heard in the gospel of today, you are called to be a good shepherd after the model of Christ who lay down his life for his sheep. In today's readings, we hear about the qualities of a good shepherd. In the first reading from the book of Numbers, we see how Moses, the leader of God's people, in their journey from slavery to freedom, felt overwhelmed by the burden of the ministry. And he cried out to God, why have you dealt ill with your servant? And why have I not found favor in your sight that you laid this burden of all these people upon me? God heard his plea and came to his aid. He told Moses to gather 70 people of Israel, 70 elders who would share with him the spirit and the task of governing the people. God said, I will take some of the spirit that is upon you and put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with you, that you may not bear it yourself alone. Therefore, Bishop Karuku, you're not alone in this ministry. You have been given a share in the spirit and the authority of Moses, who prefigured Christ, the supreme shepherd. And you are also surrounded, as you see here today, by your brother bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and lay faithful who are ready to support you and collaborate with you in building up God's kingdom in this diocese. You are called to listen to them, to consult them, to respect them, and to serve them with humility and love. In fact, in the diocese, there are a number of consultative bo bodies which are working under and with the bishop. And they all have their own responsibilities. I think of the College of Consultors, Canon 502, the Diocesan Pastoral Council, Canon 511, 514, the Episcopal Council, the Finance Council, the Presbyteral Council. All these councils are governed by canon law and particular statutes. And as you are building up now this diocese, so to say, from the beginning, Make sure you put those structures in place in order to build a participatory church, 
a synodal church in which the Christian faithful, clergy, religious, and laity have their role to play and in which their voices are heard. Only then can we speak of a truly Catholic church in which all are included and in which all have their place. To listen to your sheep is a question of wisdom and humility. As we heard in the reading of today, the Good Shepherd knows about his sheep, and by observing, observing and listening, the Shepherd comes to understand their needs. Needs which at times might be very difficult from, different from what you might have imagined. We need to know about the sufferings of our people. We need to know how difficult it can be for a normal family to make ends meet. How difficult it might be to have enough money to feed your children and to give them a decent education. We need to feel and understand how difficult it is for parents to see their children suffer. And we need to live the frustration of a mother who has not enough food for her children. And we need to understand the tensions and conflicts between husband and wife. In fact, there's so much suffering in the world that we are not really aware of. There are so many people that need to be consoled. That are, there are so many tears that are shed behind closed doors. That are so many dark secrets that cannot see the light of day. And there are so many sheep that need to find rest for their souls. So many to find rest. Yes, the shepherd is at the service of his sheep. And evidently, yes, he leads, he is the leader. But he leads them to those places where he sees that the sheep are at ease and where there's plenty of food for them to find. The shepherd leads his sheep into the peace of the kingdom where they find rest and where they are protected from the wolves, from the evil one. The bishop, therefore, as Peter said, is not to lord it over his sheep. Lording it over the sheep will ultimately scatter them and turn the bishop into a wolf himself. How many bishops and priests do not devour their sheep for financial gain, for their insatiable desire for power? The true shepherd is not looking for his own gain. He is not after financial gain or political recognition. And therefore, a bishop should never enrich himself. A bishop should not put an unbearable burden on the faithful, asking contributions which go beyond their financial means. A bishop is not a politician and should not aspire to be one. Civil authority and spiritual authority are strictly separated. No politics in the church and no church in politics. How many do not fall for the allure of power and money only to find out that their souls are shackled and not, are not able to be free anymore? A true shepherd leads in humility, doesn't turn his homily into political speeches, doesn't turn his church into a political venue, doesn't speak at political gatherings. He doesn't express himself in one in the favor of one politician or the other. No, the shepherd, he stays with his sheep and he remains with the Wananchi. He humbles himself and remains with the least of our society. He goes after the lost sheep and he stays with those who are living at the peripheries of our society. The true shepherd, as Jesus says, are not dressed in fine clothing and linen and are not found in the palaces of kings and presidents. The true shepherd will be found in the shed of the poor, in a grotto in Bethlehem, in a Babati house in Kibera. The true shepherd will take upon him the smell of the sheep, as Pope Francis tells us. The Church of the Good Shepherd opens wide the doors for the needy and the have-nots, for those who have no voice in our society. And the Good Shepherd, therefore, will have a special care for the poor 
and will try to defend them at all times. And he will defend them from the wolves, that is the mighty and the powerful who come to feed on the poor. The wolves who come to fill their bellies with whatever little belongings the poor might have because the wolf has no respect for the poor. He uses them and abuses them. For the wolf, the sheep, the poor, are just an easy way to achieve power and influence. And he will deceive them, promising them anything they want. Because, let's face it, the poor are easily deceived. They are hungry and they are in need. And a few pennies can already do the job. And as once the wolf has reached his goal, has eaten to his fill, he will vomit the sheep. He will dump the poor and leave them to their own devices. How different the true shepherd. The true shepherd gives his life for his sheep, we heard today. How many bishops, I ask you, and how many priests are really ready to give their lives for their people and to defend them in the hour of distress? Well, I tell you, I've come to know a number of them, priests and religious and even lay people who are heroic. Some have died, and some are still, even as we speak, fighting the good fight. Those men and women put me to shame through their simplicity of life, through their humility, through their sacrifice, and they disturb my conscience, and they make me wonder, where do I stand? I could mention their names here, I know their faces, and they stand with their people in times of war, of massacres, of tribal conflicts and natural disasters. They do not run away, but remain facing torture, disease, or even death. Those bishops, priests and religious and even lay people, work silently. They will never make it to the newspapers. And they will never have an audience with the president or not even with the pope. They simply do not aspire for it. They don't make any big declarations. They have no long interviews, do not appear in the newspapers, are not seen at the parties of the powerful, because their kingdom is not of this world. Their priority is not with the glamour of this world. The true shepherds stands with the poor of spirit because to them, to them belongs the kingdom of God. The true shepherd does his work in silence. He doesn't look for the limelight. He gives his life, life for his sheep. Or as Jesus says, no one has greater love than the one who gives his life for his friends. Bishop Karayuki, you are called to tend the flock of Christ that has been entrusted to you with care and compassion. You are called to feed them with the word of God and the sacraments and to heal their wounds and their illnesses. You are called to be the good Samaritan who took care of his enemy, binding his wounds and curing him. You are called to protect your flock from danger and harm, from predators and wolves and the lion who is roaring at night to see whomever he can devour. You are called to guide the flock of Christ in truth and justice and to lead them to the green pastures and the still waters. You are called to be an example of faith and holiness, of prayer and charity, of courage and fidelity, of joy and hope. You are called not to be an example, to be an example not only to your flock, but also to your fellow shepherds, your bishops, priests, deacons, religious. You are called to be an example not only with your diocese, but also beyond its boundaries, to other churches in Kenya and Africa, to other churches in communion with Rome and the other Christian denominations. You are called to know your flock by name, their joys and sorrows, their strengths and weaknesses, their needs and aspirations. You are also called to make yourself known by your flock, by your words and your deeds, by your presence and availability, by your witness and by your testimony. You are called to lay down your life for your sheep by giving them your time and attention, by sharing with them your gifts and talents, by spending yourself for their spiritual growth and material well-being. You should be ready 
to bring the ultimate sacrifice, to shed your life, to give your blood for the sheep as Christ pours out his blood for us through which we have access to the eternal green pastures to the kingdom of heaven. You are called to reach out to those who are not yet part of our flock, the poor and the more marginalized, the sick and the suffering, the lost and the lonely, the sinners and seekers, the doubters and dreamers, the drugs addicts and the drunkards. You are called to bring them also into the fold of Christ by your words of invitation and welcome, by your deeds of mercy and compassion, by your signs of unity and peace. Bishop Paul Karayuki, as you begin your ministry here today as the first Bishop of Wote, we assure you of our prayers and support. And we ask you to pray for us and to bless us. We ask God to grant you his grace and his strength, his wisdom and courage, his love and joy. And we ask Mary, the mother of Jesus and our mother, to intercede for you, together with her most chaste spouse, Joseph, to intercede for you and to protect you under her mantle. May God bless you, Bishop Karyupi. May God bless the Diocese of Wote. May God bless Kenya. Amen. Niasanda, utabanya, wane na yulua, muidi museo, na wele kelia, ujumba wake mkushamu askofu Bat Van Megen, askofu mku, na msimamizi wa amamu. Mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu hapa nchini amegusia sana kuhusu sifa za mchungaji aki kemea uchungaji ambao unajitokeza kwenye picha za kamera uchungaji ambao unajitokeza kwenye vyombo vya habari na akasema kwamba mchungaji mwema ni yule ambaye anakaa karibu na watu wake yule ambaye kama alivyosema mwenyewe anaenda kibera kwa walio maskiri na wanyonge ujumbe wa baba askofu mkuu bat van megen aisema kwa lugha ya kikamba ningwe tikilangaia sa mwene utoni uonde baba mwenyezi mumba bingu na dunia na yesu kristo mwana wa pekee bwana wetu aliyetungwa kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu akazaliwa na bikira Maria akateswa kwa mamlaka ya Pontius Pilato akasulibiwa akafana akazikwa akashukia kuzimu siku ya tatu akatufuka katika wafu akapaa mbinguni ameketi kuume kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi kutoka huko atakuja kwa hukumu wazima na wafu na sadiki kwa kanisa takatifu katoliki ushirika wa takatifu maondole ya dhambi fuko wa mili na uzima wa milele amina kuata sala sawa amini wale walikuwa wametarisha wakuje mbele tafadhali dogo sangu wapenzi tuelekeze sala zetu kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi ambaye anataka watu wote waokoke na ovikie kutambua ukweli tuombe tukisema ai Bwana tunakuomba utusikie Tuvoje hii kuondo wa Mesia yetu. Endoma kwa tuvoje hii kuondo wa Mesia yetu. Nikananga hii mwene utoni wonde atonye kutuvetea viu. Atubariki kwenye familia zetu. Maugungu 11. Atuondole shida na matatizo. Tunganziani onde ala au na kuvetanga. Aponye wote walio wagonjwa na kuzibariki familia zetu. Sikiliza anavyokuambia. Mungu mimi wa ala mena kimako. Idukisie mboya sia ndomaku nundu wa misi yetu. Sikiliza sala zetu kwa ajili ya familia zetu wewe ulitupatia familia takatifu iwe kielelezo chetu. Tuwezeshe 
kuhifadhi familia zetu kama familia takatifu ya Yesu Maria na Yosefu tujalie upendo amani na umoja tuweze kupata uzima wa milele pamoja na wewe mbinguni tuikuvoya na winyivyo utupetangie mudhuku alama misili yaitu chakulea kuelea nwa kuikiania udhengi utuletee upendo matumaini na mapendo tuondolee tuwezeshe kuondoa changamoto zinazo tukumba kwenye familia zetu tusaidie katika hali hizi ngumu za maisha utujalie maendeleo ya maisha yetu sala kwa ajili ya kanisa ndugu zangu tuliombe kanisa takatifu la Mungu ili Mungu Bwana wetu apende kulijalia amani, kuliunganisha na kulilinda popote duniani. Nasi tulio hai atujalie maisha ya amani na usalama, tumtukuze Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E Mungu Mwenyezi, uliwafumbulia mataifa yote utukufu wako katika Kristu. Uilinde kazi ya huruma yako ili kanisa lako lililoenea popote duniani liendelee kwa, kwa imani thabiti kuliungama jina lako twa kuomba hili kanisa lako liendelee na kuhubiri habari njema kwa watu wote na kusimama imara hata wakati wa vishawishi mbariki baba mtakatifu wetu papa francisco ili mungu bwana wetu ulie mteua kuwa askofu umlinde akae mzima na salama kwa ajili ya kanisa lako takatifu apate kulitawala taifa takatifu la Mungu pia wabariki maaskofu wote katika kazi yao ya kuwaongoza na kuwatumikia watu wako katika kazi yao ya kitume wabariki pia mapadre na watawa wa kiume na kike na wakristo wote tuwezeshe kuimarika katika imani matumaini na mapendo e hey, bwana twakuomba prayer for the youth let us pray for the youth because they are the hope of our homes our country kenya and above all the hope of the church so that god may protect them from the evil one and especially at this time when there are so many temptations and challenges surrounding them that they may stand firm in their faith Almighty Father, we pray for the youth and especially this time when there are so many difficulties and challenges facing our youth. For, for many of them have joined bad companies and engaged themselves in taking alcohol, smoking bang and other drugs. Lord, open open up their eyes to understand that their future lies in their hands. Guide them, Lord, back to their house, the church. Renew their spirit and set them free. All those who have been enslaved by the evil one may they respect their parents and elders and know that their bodies and are the temples of the holy spirit give them knowledge understanding and wisdom in their studies and be with them in all the undertakings lord hear us lord gracious tuombe serikali yetu tuombe viongozi wa serikali ili Mungu bwana wetu aongoze akili na mioyo yao jinsi anavyotaka kusudi watu wote wapate amani na uhuru wa kweli e Mungu mwenyezi wa milele diwe ulie na uwezo juu ya mioyo ya watu na haki za mataifa uwatanzame kwa wema hao viongozi wetu utunjalie amani ustawi wa mataifa na uhuru wa dini popote duniani twakuomba he bwana uwalinde hao viongozi wetu ambao uliwachangua ili waongoze nchi yetu ya Kenya wape hekima kama mtumishi wako Sulemani wafuate mfano wa Kristu ambaye alikuja kutumikia wala sio kutumikiwa hasa wakati huu mgumu sana katika nchi yetu kwa sababu ya kupanda kwa gharama ya maisha 
kwa kuomba he bwana ili viongozi wetu wa serikali na kanisa waketi kwa pamoja na katika mazungumzo yao wapate suhlu ya shida tunazopatana nazo kama wananchi wa taifa la Kenya tunjalie amani umoja wa taifa letu na upendo kama watoto wako wape moyo kuwafikiria maskini wangonjwa watoto wa shule na maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya he bwana twakuomba prayer for the sick the poor and the suffering almighty father we pray that you may heal the sick comfort the suffering of liberty and rid the world of falsehood, hunger and disease. Ever living, st ever living God, strengthen the weary and give new courage to those who have lost hope. Hear the prayers of all who call on you in any trouble. May they have joy of receiving, receiving your help in their need. Free us from selfishness and that we may live together as brothers and sisters, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. E mungu, ulie kimbirio na ngufu yetu. Uskie sala nyonge za kanisa lako. Wewe ulie chanzo alizi za utakatifu. Iri tunacho kuomba kwa thati, tuvanikiwe kukipata kweri. Tunaomba yo kwa njia kristu, buwana wetu. Tuketi. Kufa sasa ingia. Continue with mass. Be offer to kukusanya sasa wakati u. Atuna wakizi. Sandaka inapa ambao yako na CWA na CMA saa yawekwe katika masanduku ya pesa yawekwe Tolewa yote pesa ya katika yao masanduku
wanaendelea na kuchukua siboria ziko na bread for consecration and wine for consecration
Sarini dogo ilizandaka yangu na yenu ikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E Bwana dhabihi tunayo kutorea kwa njiri ya mimi mtumishi wako iwe kipanje kinachokupedesa nami ulie ni teua niwe kuhani mkuu katika taifa lako unipambe kwa mapanji ya fadhila na kitume kwa maendeleo ya kundi lako tunaomba hayo kwa jina Kristo bwana wetu Bwana we nani awe mioni mwako inowe ni mioyo tumeinua kwa kwa na tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu ni Nive mana kitendo la kuva na la kuleta wokovu tukushukuru na imana popote e bwana baba uliye mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia kristo bwana wetu kwa kuwa kama unavyorinja kanisa lako kuivuraya siku ya mtakatifu wako Yeronimo ali kadhalika unalimarisha kwa mivano ya maisha yake matakatifu unalivundisha kwa maneno na mahubiri yake na kulirinda kwa maombezi yake mbora kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na umati wa maraika na watakatifu tunaimba utenzi wa sifa Tokeze ma bila mwisho This is the highest part of the mass. E bwana kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia usima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza. Wala uwezi kukusanya watu kwako 
ilitoka mawi ya jua hata macho yake na biusavi itorewe kwa jina lako basi ye bwana tunakusii kwa unyenyekevu vipanji hivi ambavyo tumekutorea ili uvitakase upende kuvitakatifusa kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na ndamu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mavumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na kushukuru aliupaliki akaumega akawapo wafuasi wake akisema toaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakao torewa kwa njiri yenu Fivyo hivyo bande ya kura akitoa kikombe na kushukuru alikibariki akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mnywe nyote hiki dicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya na ramirere itakayo mwagika kwa njiri yenu na kwa njiri ya wengi kwa maondole ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Hile ne fumborai mani Kristo ha li kufa Kristo ha li fufuka Kristo ata yatena Hile ne fumborai mani Kristo ha li kufa Kristo ali fufuka Kristo ata yatena Kwa hiyo e Bwana tunaboadhimisha ukumbusho wa matezi ya mwanao yale tawokofu pamoja na uvuvuko wake wa ajabu na kuvaa kwake mbinguni na tunabotazamia unjio wake wa pili tunakutorea kwa shukurani Sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu. Tunakuomba uiangalie matole ya kanisa lako na kwa kutambua yeye aliye kavara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kivo chake. Utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu na mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa kwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristu. Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilivu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wote ule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na Bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mme wake huyo Bikira mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watakatifu na watakatifu wote ambao tuna tunategemea kupata daima msaada au maombezi mbele yako Tunakuomba e Bwana huyo aliyekafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote Upende kulimarisha kanisa katika imani na mapendo Upende kuimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalo safiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu Francisco askofu wetu Paul Kariuki ma, pamoja na maaskofu wote wakilo, wakilero wote na watu wote unao wafanya kuwa taifa lako 
Usikilize kwa wema sala za, za jamaa hii hii uliyoita hapa mbele yako. E baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanye kwako wanao wote wale utamwamika popote duniani. Huwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote lioaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza. Nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huu huu ili pamoja tusibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa ajili ya Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa ajili yake unaejalia ulimwengo mema yote kwa ajili yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Mtakatifu E, na utukufu mirere na mirere amina 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 wakulitia giso la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mavudisho yake ya kimungu <coughs> tunadhuputu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani hata utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utsamee makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamee sisi walio tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utuapoe maovu ni e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusivadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotasamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio mokosi wetu Yesu Kristo kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele e bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa tazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawara milele na milele Amen. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Iwe amani mwako. Mpeane amani.
Tasama mwana kondo wa Mungu, tasama ondo wae dhambi za ulimwengu. Elia wariariko kwenye karamu ya mwana kondo. E mwana tusaidi pia kwangu, lakini sema neno moja tu na roho yangu itapona. Ni wakati wa kupokea Ekaristi takatifu. Maskofu watapokea kwa kutoka altari kuu na mapadri watapokea kutoka pahali walipo in both species by instinction alafu waende wakapee wa Kristu komunio takatifu wale ambao walikuwa wanashika chalices wapokeleshe mapadri by distinction na ukipokea unaenda kupea na wana yote chukweni miambuli
wimbo wa ekaristi usisimame zote ili tuweze kuheshimu Kristo anaopitia katikati yetu
Mwishimu kristo ambaye tumemupokea Yeye yuko ndani yetu Tuko ndani yake Tumwishimu tuonge na yeye Mboya mwetewi nyasi kwa kwa mwana na kwa baba mwedheu and now i welcome the bishop for the final post communion prayer to simame fumbo hili uniongezee mimi mtumishi wako mapanji na neema yako ili nikutekeleze nikutekeleze isairi vyo huduma ya kichunganji na nikiwa mwaminifu nipate tuzora milele kwa utumishi wako Tunaomba hayo kwa njia Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. The bishop will go a special blessing to the congregation around the field. Kwa hivyo ataongozwa ili aweze tuweze kupokea baraka zake na baada ya hapo tutakuwa na baraka Zamisa. Kwaya nyimbo ambazo ni za baraka. The bishop will give us his blessings going around the field.
Ina misheni vichwa kwa ajili ya baraka Buwana awe nanyi Awe mwani wako Mungu wa varanja yote ya zibange ziku zenu katika amani yake Na wajalie mapanji ya baraka zake Awayo kushendai mana manga ikoyote Na kuthibitisha miole nuka teka upendo wake Na wanjaze na mapanji ya imani Matumaina mapendo Iri mbate kuishi maisha haya mke wanajundi katika kazi na mvike kwa fura katika uzema wa mirele Na mbaraka yake mungu mwenyezi ya baba Na mwana na romta katifi wa shukie Na kukana njinda ima na mirele Nende ni mkaitangaze injili ya buwana Let us sit for a while for the final program Tuketi kwa program ya mwisho Na sasa diocese ya machakos Diocese ya machakos inamkabithi Baba Askofu Zawadi Na kwa hivyo tunauliza hiyo Zawadi Wese kuletwe Na wakati na poletwe Tuulise Diocesian Lake Council Moderator A pass a vote of thanks Diocesian Lake Council Moderator We are inviting you For a vote of thanks And the meanwhile The diocese Inamukabithi Baba Askofu the Diocese of Machakos is giving the bishop a gift. Your gift to Nasema Iletwe.
Tafadhali tukimie the, the diocesan gift is coming before the vote of thanks. Ondokeni the gift ingie. Ondokeni yo gift ingie. Tushangilie tafadhali. Tushangilie na tuondoke. That is the diocesan gift. Machako si diocese imamkabili Askofu Paul Kariuki Diocese ya wote mpya Hiyo dio diocesan gift Congratulations Thank you Tushangilie Asanti 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 sana Kwa hivyo You are prepared To go to the people By that means Ninauliza baba askofu ili aweze kumkabidhi hiyo gift. Baba anamkabidhi the diocesan gift. Sinyinyi munaona inafaa? Ama ni adye? Ama ni adye? Asanti, asanti, asanti sana. Mengia ndani He likes driving himself Sasa ana test Hamepewa kifunguo Hai meguruma eh Asanti, asanti, asanti sana. Your Excellency Ebatus Matthews Maria Van Megan, Apostolic Nunzio to Kenya and the South Sudan, Your Eminence Emeritus John Candino Njue, Your Graces the Archbishop, Your Lordships the Bishops, the Kilaji, Religious Men and the Women, Your Excellency the former Vice President Honorable TV Di Calonzo Musioka, Honorable Deputy Chief Justice Filomena Mwilu, Your Excellencies, Governors Present, Deputy Governors Present, Your Excellency, the First Lady Makueni County, all elected leaders and the government officials, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to Musifu Yesu Christo. We have gathered here today to celebrate the creation of the new Catholic Diocese of Wote and the installation of Bishop Paul Okariuki Jiru as the first bishop. We truly thank God for this. Your Excellency the Nuncio, when you came to Wote on 24th June 2023,
for the ordination of priests and the deacons, we say to you, Karibu sana na Karibu tena. We note with satisfaction that you have come back with a basket full of blessings. And the people of the new diocese are grateful, excited, and extremely happy for the give, big gift you have presented to us, that is new water Catholic diocese and installation of Bishop Paul Kariukijiru. We know this was a joint effort by the Conference of the Catholic Bishops in Kenya. We wish, therefore, to join the KCZB in celebrating this milestone, and uh, together we promise to support the bishop and uh, safeguard his continuous journey of evangelization in water diocese. Additionally, we recognize the tremendous efforts made by your Lordship Bishop Norman Wambua Kingo for standing as a foot soldier of Christ in the Langia Catholic Diocese of Machakos. You shared with the priests and they prayed together with us Christians to overcome the anxiety of waiting for the creation of the new diocese. We thank you for giving us hope and encouragement. And now with the honor and the humility, we wish to thank His Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka for coming to celebrate this event with us. You are coming, Your Excellency, is not only an honor to the people of Makueni, but also honor to the church. Again, we take cognizance of the good work done by Your Excellency, Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr., Governor Makueni County, and the entire Makueni leadership, together with the government representatives, both at the county level and the national level, for your good leadership. You have demonstrated impressive commitment in hosting this event. We sincerely thank you, Your Excellency, the Governor. Moreover, we thank Your Excellencies, Honorable Cicely Barire, Governor Embu County, and the Honorable Wabinyandeti, Governor Machakos County, for escorting Bishop Kariuki from Embu to Watan Diocese in a meticulous way. And further, we wish to thank His Excellency the Governor, Honorable Julius Malombe from Gitui for being a good neighbor. Father, we express our gratitude to the clergy and the Christians of Embu in a special way for preparing your son, Bishop Paul Kariuki, to be a shepherd for us all. Surely, we can't thank you enough. Lastly, we appreciate and thank all people of God who came to grace and witness this momentous event and the BOM, UNOA Primary, and the JSS for allowing us to use this playground. And finally, my dear Christians, wherever the bishop appears, there let the people be. It is now a moment of great joy and extreme happiness to welcome our first bishop, Paul Okariuki Jiru, your lordship. We know with your wide experience, your pastoral programs and visits will surely deepen and strengthen our faith. Karibu Wote Diocese Babasco. May God bless us all. Long live Wote Diocese. Thank you, and may God bless. Asante, Asante, Asante. We are the diocesan, the Lanja Machakos diocesan moderator. After that, now I welcome the secret KCCB Secretary General so that he can have the recognition of the bishops and archbishops and also the recognition of the county and the government officials. Meanwhile, we also uh, thank those who supported our cooperators, the Coca-Cola Company, KCB Limited, Family Bank, Equity Bank, Neptune Services, Wajusi Restaurant, County Government Machakos, and the County Government Makueni. 
au walitusaidia karibu Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio, the representative of the Holy Father in Kenya and South Sudan, Your Eminence, John Cardinal Jue, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi, most reverend uh, archbishops present here, led by the Vice Chairman of the conference, Archbishop Morris Mwatia Makumba, my Lord Bishops here present, members of the clergy, religious men and women, Madam Chief, Deputy Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Philomena Mwilu, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, former Vice President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Eugene Wamalua, Honorable civil leaders here present from the national government, our honorable MPs across the country, Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr., the governor of Makweni County and our host governor, the other governors present, that is the honorable governor from Kitui, Machakos and Embo, all the leaders from our county governments, our dear Christian religious leaders from other churches and denominations, God, to Msifu Yesu Christo. God is good and all the time. We wish to get into another session of speeches which will be led by the Vice Chairman of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops. But before that, with his permission, allow me, with a lot of appreciation, to recognize and appreciate the presence of the following civic leaders among us. The first is Honorable Philomena Mwilu, Deputy Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. Madam Deputy Chief Justice, thank you very much. We have and we acknowledge the presence of His, His Excellency Honorable Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, the former Vice President of the Republic. We have with us Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, former cabinet secretary. We have the host governor, Mutula Kilonso Jr. of Makueli County. Thank you for hosting us. We have the first lady, Madam Anita Mutula, Makueni County. Tumpigia Makofi, thank you. We are joined with Governor Wavinya Ndeti of Machakos County. We are also joined uh, with Governor Julius Malombe from Kitui County. Thank you very much, our dear governors. Then we have Governor Cecil Mbarire, the one who has given the bishop, the governor of Embu. Thank you very much, Madam Cecil Mbarire. We have Deputy Governor Francis Mwangangi of Machakos, Deputy Governor Lucy Mulili of Makweni. Thank you very much. Then we have P.S. Teresia Mbaika of Devolution is with us here. We have P.S. Veronica Nduva of Gender. Thank you for being with us. We have Senator Agnes Kavindu Mudama of Machakos. We have Professor Kivuda Kibwana, former Governor Makweni. We have with us Honorable Adelina Mwau, former Deputy Governor Makweni. We have Honorable Douglas Mbilu, Speaker Makweni County Assembly. With us also, we acknowledge the presence of Honorable Joyce Kameme Kasimbi, uh, Women Rep Machakos. We 
have with us also Honorable Stephen Mule, MP Matungudu, Honorable Susan Kiamba, MP Makueni, Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, MP Kibwesi West, Honorable Zambia, MP Kilome, Honorable Muchangi Kalembe, Kalemba Kiprunyenges, Senator Alexander Mundu, Mundi, Mundigi, Senator Embu, Honorable Pamela Njoki Njeru, Women Rep Embu. Thank you very much. Honorable Joshua Kimilu Kaiti. Dr. Andrew Mulwa, CEO Kemsa. And Fred Muteti, Chair Cesar. We thank you, our civic leaders and leaders of different corporate uh, organizations that have honored this occasion. Thank you, and sorry for skipping that. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Manso, for being present with us. Asante ni sana. So with that, allow me to welcome the Bishop of Machakos Diocese, whom, as we well know, has done a lot of work to prepare this new diocese of water. And with permission, let us clap for Right Reverend Norman King Owambua to come and give us his work. My Lord Bishop Karibu Sana. I'm not going to go over that list again. I want to appreciate you all for turning up to be with us, to celebrate with us, and encourage us to continue. The two governors of Makueni, sorry, Machakos and Makueni, have stood with us very closely, please, Nasema tu Asante, Mwishmiwa Wavinya Ndeti, na Mwishmiwa Mutula Kilonzo Jr. I think you've gone out of your way to help us, and even without asking you to come and, you know, be with us and stand with us. So I want to say thank you. The other group I want to thank you, and very sincerely, our lay people here present, from now the new Diocese of Water and from the Diocese of Machakos, Diocese of Embo, you are rarely appreciated, but you are the backbone of the church. Kina mama wangu mko? Mko? Hata kama mnakaa chini, you are the backbone. Sawa kina mama? Tuendelee kushika kanisa mkono na kuilinda. Si ni kweli? You are not only our mothers. You are many things to us and without you we limp. Our fathers want to say wanaume asante wa eneo hili. You've stood with us. You've been with us. And that's why you and your families, we are able to celebrate this great day. You are our financiers and we have no shame to say so. Sawa sawa. And I appreciate you. Asante. Kina mama wangu, wanaume wangu, yes, you are our financiers, and on you, the Diocese of Machakos, 
has moved from strength to strength in terms of providing personnel, in terms of providing resources, and even terms of financing this great occasion. Thank you very much. Pigiani Makofi! Pigiani Makofi! Wachana nae ni wetu tu, kila mboma hiko watu wengi. Sinikweli? Kwa hivo ni kusema asante, asante kabisa. Wa kristo wetu na wote tulio hapa. Pili ni kusema asante kwa mapadri wetu. Tumefanya kazi nzuri. Tumefanya kazi nzuri ya kuendelea kueneza injili. Tunasema asante kwa masista wetu na wote ambao tumechangia kwa kanisa. Thank you very much. Now, as we welcome now the new bishop of Wote, we are saying, brother, don't worry. Every family has such people. How is it? Atole wetu pole pole ni moja wetu. We are sorry about our condition. Ni wetu, ni wetu. This is a family. This is a family. A family are so kind of people. We are together. So, brother Kariuki Karibu, we are not handing you a limping church. We are handing you a running church. And on that, I would want to say thank you. Thank you to our predecessors who laid the foundation of these great diocese. Our late Bishop, Archbishop Raphael Ndingi Mwananzeki, Bishop Joseph Urbanos Kiyoko, Bishop Martin Kivuva, Na wale wengine wali saidia uko katikati. We, have, we are building on that and I pray that you may build on that and shaking foundation you've seen them. And we'll continue working. Along with that, we want to thank the missionaries who are here and lay sowed the seeds on what that were pal paliliad and watered by those great men. Just a year before the First World War, and a year after the same war, the missions of Kaba and Kilungu were begun by the Holy Ghost. Those are our founding fathers from St. Austin, and we want to say thank you. Wale mna uzungumza tafadhali tunyamaze. Tuko pamoja? Ili tumalize araka tuende na jua mechoka. Thank you, Holy Ghost fathers for laying that foundation, and we are building on it. And steadily, the Catholic faith has grown in leaps and bounds, leading to the creation of the Diocese of Machakos on the 29th, 1969. And 54 years down the road, we are witnessing another historical moment, the creation of the Diocese of water. Piga makofi! Na hiyo ni sherehe kubwa kwa hao walio tutangulia. And therefore, those of us here, we are celebrating this milestone in the work of evangelization, which, begin, which ends an era and ushers in the dawn of another full of happiness, full of hope, because you are there, my dear Christians. We are happy, we are happy, Professor Kifuda Kibwana, that was your request, your first request, when I came to Machakos, you prayed for the diocese, and we are happy, now we have the diocese of water. Our prayer is that you continue and all the leaders here continue supporting the church. We stand for many values. We stand for education. We stand for health. We stand for justice. We stand for what makes us 
good human beings. So support the church. And therefore, we pray with, pray with us so that our diocese, guided by the greatest teacher, Elias the Holy Spirit, may continue the work of evangelization with its zeal, responding to ever-changing missionary landscape. Today, our Lord Jesus Christ, his command is fulfilled. He told the apostles, go, it's a command. Therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. Matthew 28, 19. And that is the motto we pick up from there and go and evangelize them. Thank you. Makofi Kobaba Skofu Wajimbo La Machakos. Thank you very much, uh, my Lord Bishop Norman Kingo Wambua. And now, before I invite the Vice Chairman of the conference to come and uh, introduce the bishops who have joined in this celebration, allow me to acknowledge the presence of the Catholic MPs Chairman, Honorable Obiri, the MP of Bobasi. Thank you for joining us, representing the Catholic MPs in our parliament. Again, I honor and respect acknowledging the presence of Honorable Wamukunji, MP Manyata. Thank you very much for being present. Now, allow me to invite the Vice President, Vice Chairman of the conference, who will lead us in the next section, section of the speeches. Let us put our hands together to invite Ra Most Reverend Maurice Mohatia Makumba. God is good. And all the time. Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, Bert Van Megan. Your Eminence, the Cardinal, John Cardinal Jewe. Your Graces, Your Lordships. Madam Deputy Chief Justice, Your Excellencies, the Governors of Makueni Machakos, Embo, and Kitui. Honorable members here present, Honorable Senators and members of Parliament, distinguished and esteemed honorable guests who have joined us today, reverend fathers, religious men and women, dear brothers and sisters. I first of all bring you the greetings of the chairman of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, most reverend Martin Kibuba, who is away on official duty. And that is why he could not join us today. Please receive his greetings. Allow me then to very briefly introduce the bishops here present who have, come, who have come to join us in this celebration. We are very grateful to them, tomorrow being a Sunday, and the pressure of work, but they still found time to be with us. They'll just stand and wave as we introduce them. First is His Eminence, John Cardinal Njue, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi. Thank you, Your Eminence. The next is Right Reverend Philip Solometi, Bishop Emeritus of Kakamega. The next is most Reverend Philip Agnolo, Archbishop of Nairobi. The next is Most Reverend Anthony Moeria, Archbishop of Nyeri. Nalifanya kazi, wakati mungine. 
Si mwana kumbuka? Ampigi makofi. The next is Right Reverend Henry Juma, Bishop of Kitale. The next is Right Reverend John Binda, Bishop of Lodua. Now we come and talk up. And Peter Kiara, Bishop of The next is Right Reverend Will Badlago, Bishop of Malindi. The next, Right Reverend Bishop John Obala Owa, Bishop of Ngong. The next, Right Reverend Anthony Ereri Mukobo, Bishop of Isiolo. The next is Right Reverend Cleophas Oseso, Bishop of Nakuru. The next is Right Reverend Dominic Kimengich, Bishop of Eldoret. The next is Right Reverend Mark Kadima, Bishop of Bungoma. The next is Right Reverend Michael Odiwa, Bishop of Homa Bay. The next is Right Reverend Joseph Mairura, Bishop of Kisi. He just stepped out a bit. Let us clap for him. The next is Right Reverend George Muthaka, Bishop of Garissa. The next is Right Reverend James Maria Wainaina, Bishop of Muranga. The next is Right Reverend Joseph Obanyi, Bishop of Kakamega. The next, Right Reverend Alfred Rotich, Bishop of Kericho. The next is Right Reverend Celestius Mugambi, Bishop of Meru. The next is Right Reverend David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop of Nairobi. The next is Joseph, Right Reverend Joseph Mwongela, Bishop of Kitui. To Mesikia. The next is Monsignor Benjamin Maswili, Military Ordinary Apostolic Administrator. The next is Very Reverend Father Ferdinand Lugonzo, our General Secretary of KCCB. Next is Right Very Reverend Father Bernard Ngaria, Deputy General Secretary KCCB. Reverend Father Emmanuel Chimombo, Deputy Secretary General of Amesea. Reverend Professor Stephen Bugwa, Vice Chancellor of Kuea. Next, I introduce to you Monsignor Luciano Labanga, the Secretary of the Apostolic Nuncio. Monsignor Alphonse Mondio, let us give him a clap. I introduce the following vicars general, very reverend father Amogast Mdawida, proxy of Archbishop of Mombasa, Martin Kivuva Msonde. Very reverend father Eliud Wanyoike from the Diocese of Embu. Directors of our major seminaries, if you are here, please be upstanding and superiors of religious institutes. We thank you very much, all of you, for joining us in this celebration. As I mentioned to you, members, our chairman is away on official duty. I'll be giving a very brief message. My dear brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, who has chosen us to share in his abundant mercy and love today as we are gathered to celebrate the inauguration of the new diocese of Wote and the installation of our brother, Right Reverend Paul Njiru, as its first bishop. As a conference, 
We are grateful to the Holy Father for having created the Diocese of Water. For us as a family, as a family of the people of God in Kenya, it is yet another mark of the growth of the church and a clear demonstration of the Holy Father's closeness to us in the work of evangelization. We thank His Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio, for his pivotal role in the process of the creation of the Diocese of Wote and the appointment of its first bishop. We equally express our gratitude to Bishop Norman Kingo Wambua for the good work he has done in championing the preparatory steps towards the division of the larger Diocese of Machakos. To our brother Paul Karioke, we wish to thank you for the great work that you have accomplished in the Diocese of Embu. As we congratulate you for this new assignment, we promise you our accompaniment of prayers and support. May the good Lord accompany you in your ministry as you shepherd his flock, his flock in water. May he bless the Diocese of water and make it a beacon of faith and good works in our country. And to the people of God in the Diocese of Embu, we pray and join you as you go on your knees to pray for a new shepherd. And may the Lord encourage you and strengthen you as you remain vigilant in prayer as we pray for a new shepherd for the Diocese of Embu. My dear brothers, thank you very much. Allow me on, very, on behalf of the bishops to hand the new bishop a small card, a small card from the Conference of Bishops. Allow me now, at this juncture, to invite His Excellency the Nuncio, Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan to make his remarks. Your Excellency, welcome. Thank you very much, Archbishop, for giving me the floor. His Eminence, the Cardinal John Jue, representatives here of government, both at national and county level, representatives of the judiciary, political representatives, my brothers in the episcopacy, reverend priests, religious brothers, religious sisters, people of God, to see for Jesus Christ. God is good. And all the time, God is good and it is his nature. Wow. And that is, as I always say, a day as today is a wow day. A day which will go down in the history, not only of Wote, but also in the history of the Church of Kenya and even in the history of Kenya. A new diocese, a new growth of Christian Christianity in Kenya. And I was thinking a bit of the name Wote. You know, Catholic, Catholic is basically a Greek name, and it means universal, on the whole, everybody including, nobody excluded. And that sounds very much like Wote. So if you say the Diocese of Wote, basically you say a Catholic diocese, that is what you say, because it's all included, all of them are part of it. And, um, as I read somewhere, somewhere yesterday, and that's what I'm proud of being a Catholic, is that Catholics do not only serve Catholics in the sense through our schools, through our hospitals, through our clinics, but we serve all because we are Catholics. Catholics are open to each and everyone, whether you're Catholic, sure, but also if you come from other religions, from other churches, Nobody is excluded. We serve everybody because everybody is a representative of Christ in each and every person. We find the dignity of Christ. Today, 
we started, we, we erected, we established this new diocese of water with a new bishop, well, a new old bishop in a sense. Because already bishop for, what is it, 14 years, I think, no? Yes, 14 years already a bishop in Embu, where he did very well. Bishop Paul Karayuki is a hands-on man. Not only was he very good at school, by the way, he did his studies also in Rome. He is an intelligent man. But not only does he work with his head, but he also works with his hand. He is a man who likes to build. He is a man who likes to work in difficult situations. And that's why we decided, let us give him this challenge of water. And you will see, you know, as it was mentioned, being a nuncio, you're very much involved in the appointment of a new bishop. And of course, you hear the opinions, you weigh things, and you come finally, you send it to Rome, and the Holy Father finally makes a final decision on that one. And of course, sometimes you think, okay, let's hope that this will go well. But in the case of Bishop Karayuki, I'm very convinced that this will go very well because the Pope has signed it and God saw that it was good and that is really what I'm really much very much convinced of so Bishop Karayuki the blessings of the Lord and the prayer of the Holy Father are with you and finally as it was mentioned Embu is now a vacant diocese an orphan in its sense without father and we are starting already the process of finding a new bishop. So if any priests are here who feel the vocation to be a bishop. <laughs> you can apply. <laughs> For the time being, as we are in a vacancy, the Holy Father has appointed an apostolic administrator in the person of Archbishop Anthony Moheria. who was already, by the way, the Bishop of Embu years ago. In a sense, it's a homecoming. So we hope that also in his able hands, the Diocese of Embu will continue to grow, and will to continue the, to grow the seed that the Bishop, Bishop Karyuki had already planted. So once again, thank you all for praying for the new Bishop, for the new Diocese of Water, and a special word of thanks to Bishop Norman Kingo for all the work that he has done. In fact, it was about a year, year and a half ago that he came to me and mentioned it to me, would it not be time to start dividing this diocese? Because the project had been hanging around, it seems, for many, many years. And we saw that water was ready to become independent. A little child had grown up, you're an adult now, you can do things by yourself, you have a good father bishop, so work on it and the kingdom of God will take root also here in Wote Santeni Sana. In a short while, I will be inviting our host governor to make a few remarks. However, before that, I would like to invite our new bishop of the Diocese of Water to address the congregation. Your Lordship, well. Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, Most Reverend Dat Van Megan, Your Eminence John Kanojoe, Your Excellency, the Archbishops and Bishops, my brother, priests, religious men and women, and consecrated lady, our dear leaders both the county and the national government, or all the leaders here present, the people of God, all protocols observed 
Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Mwia ine muzeu na mawinda onde Lau Mwia tanu Asante sana Siku ya leo sina mengi sana I'm going to be very brief Mimi naja kwenu kama mtumishi Not a boss And that is my theme of my small speech I'm among you as a servant Sorry for interrupting the message of the bishop We are kindly requesting uh, Sister Margaret and Sister Lucy to get next to the entrance to this uh, field for purposes of assistance of the Bishop of Kisi. So as I've said, I am among you as a servant, ready to faithfully shepherd the Christians of the Catholic Diocese of Wote in love, dedication, and humility. Dear people of God, the only reason as to why the Holy Father, Pope Francis, has appointed me to this word of diocese, as the Apostolic Nuncia said, Jimbo Rawatu Wote, is because me to lead you to heaven. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I therefore invite you, all of us, let us dare to be saints. A French novelist called Leon said, the only real sadness the only real failure, the only great tragedy in life is not to become a saint. This is an wavering call that the church makes to all people throughout the ages. It comes from Jesus himself, who ends his most important and longest teaching, the Sermon on the Mount, with a call to his disciples, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. St. John Paul II refers to holiness as the prime and fundamental vocation. And this is what the fathers of Vatican Council II reminded us, that all of us, we are called to holiness. Pope Francis has often comparing once on the call to holiness in his apostolic exaltation, Gaudate et Exultate, dedicated entirely to the theme of holiness in today's world. And this is what Pope Francis says. The Lord has everything of us and return he of us as through life. The happiness for which we are created he want us to be saints and not settle for blood and mediocre, mediocre existence. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us therefore dare to be saints who live and draw grace from the Eucharist. For this reason, the only thing I demand from you as your shepherd is to dare to be holy. I have no doubt as Catholics, the more we receive the Eucharist, and especially in the state of grace, the more we we'll become Christ-like, so that on this earth we have a full taste of heaven. My motto is Ego Sum Bonus Pastor TP et Omnibus. That is I am the good shepherd for you and for all. Of course, Christ is the good shepherd, and I am only his disciple. But he has called me to be an apostle, and has sent me to feed a sheep. 
then it is my task to save his flock. With the help of his grace, I will make able to know my sheep by visiting you in the parishes and in out stations. For I believe the better a shepherd knows his flock, the better he can care for it. The Holy Father has invited us as shepherds of souls to smell like sheep. Be assured, I will smell like sheep by visiting you and by being with you. My canonical pastoral visit will also give you an opportunity not only to encounter your bishop, but also to know your shepherd. What is my role then as your shepherd? Like God, who is the good shepherd? In the book of Prophet Ezekiel, and Jesus Christ, who is our good shepherd, I will seek the lost, I will bring back the straight, I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. Ezekiel chapter 34. So help me God. Finally, I exalt my brothers and sisters as well as religious men and women working in the Catholic diocese of water to adapt the servant leadership style. We are not called to be bosses. We are called to be servants. It is indeed true that the most effective leaders strive to serve others rather than accrue power or take control. As you journey through life, may you find true happiness and deep sense of fulfillment by serving the people of God in your daily apostolate. As a servant leader, you can indeed transform the world in which you live. My dear brother priests, I will work, I will work closely with you because you are very key people in the apostolate, in the work of bishop as a shepherd. We work together to make this diocese one of the best dioceses in the Catholic Church. As servant leaders, let us therefore strive to make this diocese the best in the way we shepherd our Christians without excluding anyone. Fire Turisema ni diocese ya watu wo wote. And not a wonder, a number of years ago, a song was composed. Twende ni wote, twende ni wote, to mwabundu bwana kwa furaha. Twende ni wote, twende ni wote, to mwabundu I can tell you the whole country is at water. Even if you now go to Vatican, the name of water is shining there. Yeah. Dear people of Makweni, I thank you most sincerely for the warm welcome. Dear people of Machakos, I thank you for the warm welcome. What I saw on Thursday at Kefa, what I saw yesterday at Kora, and at here at Wote, what I now see today here, I can tell you I am humbled. You are great people. I love you. I feel at home. I do not feel as a stranger. I feel at home. Together with your bishop, Norman King of, my brother bishop, na neighbor, priests, religious men and women, church leaders and our governors, our leaders, and especially His Excellency Mutura Kironzo, Our Excellency Wavinya Deti, and Sister Balire and other leaders, you have worked together to ensure that this day is a great success. I can honestly tell you that now I feel at home. 
I can whisper this secret to you. The spirit of my grandfather. The dad to my father. Who was a camber? May he so rest in peace. Has come back. I deserve no longer to be called karaoke, but Kazioka. I have to discover where my grandfather, whom I am named after, where he came from. In other words, I am one of you, dear brothers and sisters. You are warm and welcoming people and hard-working people. I am happy to be among you and to be associated with you. I long to work with you. Above all, I long to learn Kikamba language, and I believe that sooner or later I will speak fluently and confidently Kikamba. I have no doubt in my mind that together as one body of Christ the church will build a strong diocese of the Catholic diocese of Wote. St. Augustine said at one time and I said to you with you, I am a Christian, and for you, I am a bishop. Be assured of my love, be assured of my availability, and be assured that we are going to go work together as people of God. I am proud of you. I am so happy, excited, and to be among you, for me, is a great, great gift. Welcome now, Kasioka at Makueni. To our leaders, be assured that we are going to work together, both the political leaders and also the religious leaders. We have worked so well in Embu in the ecumenical forum, we left no one outside and we were successful. We worked with our leaders and we are successful. I believe that even here, the spirit is the same. We work together to build the body of Christ the church, regardless of where we come from, regardless of where we worship, regardless of where we go to church. May God help us. May God bless you all. Be strong in faith. Mukamba azayi. Osa vinya. Atamimi ni mejukua vinya. Asante. God is good and all the time. My dear brothers and sisters, you'll agree with me. Uh, we have some pressure on, on time. Almost 98% of the people present here are engaged tomorrow. And some are going long distances to prepare for tomorrow. As I invite our host, Governor, I just draw this to our attention. Your Excellency, Mutula Kilonso Jr., please welcome to make a few remarks. We have extreme pressure on time. Father, can you prepare a place? is good. We are the most reverend Ubatas Matthews Maria, apostolic nuncio to Kenya, 
the Right Reverend Norman Kingo Mbua, Most Reverend Philip Anyolo, and thank you for confirming my daughter at Holy Trinity, Bishops Present, Archbishop Present, Yangu itakuwa mafupi, kwa sababu nimepatiwa dakika church. Kwanza, nitawaita magavana, kwa sababu nimeona wavinya menunua gari, lazima aseme ya meachilia bishop kapisa. And then, I will invite Governor Cecil Mbarire, and then I will invite Malombe. We are 15 minutes, and then party leader will speak on behalf of everybody else. But before they all speak, I've been requested to ask the Deputy Chief Justice, Filomena Bete Mwilo. Please come. Ohne Mwilo, Mwona. Otio Wenyu. Thank you. First of all, and bear and Masi as and your corn, Dinena. But came to Chambe, Nakila, not a Jongwasia, Nikananga in a museo, and they were all Mundi to a diocese with our water. Naibu wa Judge Mkuu Mama Filomena Mwilu ambaye ametoka maeneo haya ya Makweni. Where we are at and although I suppose you can follow God wherever he may be found it is good that we find him in our neighborhood. Karibu sana, Bishop Karioki. In me, you will have a um, complete friend and support. I am a Roman Catholic. I try to be one in both word and um, action. Uh, and the many times that I fail, God has a way of uh, putting me back on my feet. Eti kilima makueni. Inye mwewata. Yeah? In the sense of Kanisa Nino Baba, Bishop Noyo Baba, or you can say Atuneta Kanisa, the Etwa Cathedral. Give a cathedral, I may will a lobby lacine or you the water quito. Um, for the religious, thank you for being so many of you in my village. My home is about four kilometers from here, and I feel blessed that we are here today. Gaina to the maybe on the Nadia the Mamono, um, diocese to your water. Asante, thank you, uh, Sicily Governor. Please, please come. I've taken that is three minutes. We are doing well. I'm beginning my coffee, Governor. My embo. Ametoka safari ya mbali na amekuja kuwakilisha wale wote wametoka embu. Asanti sana Governor Mutula. The House of Clergy led by His Excellency the Nuncio and all my Lord Bishops. Viongozi wote wale wako hapa led by His Excellency Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Na wanainchi watukufu wa wote hamjambo. Tumsifu Yesu Christu. Mwea inemoseo. Na mabindaonde. Baito mwea seo. Mwea seo inge. Tumeshkuru sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Kualetea Bishop Mpia ambaye amekuwa bishop wetu kwa miaka 13. Bishop Karioki kama vile mmesikia ni mtu wa watu. Na ile kazi ametufanyia kule embu ni kazi mingi sana. Hata siwezi taja yote hapa. Ametuachia strong diocese, parishes were formed, churches were built, hospitals were built 
tuko na the biggest mission hospital kwa sasa uko Embu County courtesy of Bishop Kariuki. A pastoral center was built and we thank God for the work he has done. And because of the love we have for him, we have decided to mulete sisi wenyewe. Ata kama kwa roo tunasikia vibaya ametuacha, we are happy he's coming to do a good thing in water diocese hapa makueni. Na tunajua tafanya kazi mzuri. And because of that, my Lord Bishop, I want to inform you kwamba tumekuja tukiwa mengi. He had redeemed full gospel. He was working with all the churches. Katika ecumenical conference. Pia, tuko na politicians about wako hapa, marafiki zako bishop. Tuko na senator mondigi, ako hapa, umemuona. Tuko na mwashimiwa, karemba, MP from Ronyenges, ako hapa. Tuko na women rep njoki wanjero wa uko embu ako hapa. Tuko na mweshimu wa mukonji ambaye ni MP wa manyata ako hapa. Tuko na rafiki yako moturi muombo MCA ako hapa. Alafu tuko na the embu county government, CEC's chief officers wako hapa na madirectors na wafanyikazi wa county government of embu. Na tuko na wa embu na wampere na wakamba wakule embu county wengi kabisa ambao wamekuja hapa kukwambia kwa heri kwa heri rafiki yetu so my lord bishop i want to thank you for the service you have accorded to the people of embu county we will never forget na kwa sababu ya hivyo ukituhitaji hapa siku yoyote tupigie simu tutakuja hapa but i want to say Sisi tumeenda kama watu ambao tumefurahi. I have never seen so many people wamekuja mahala pamoja kusherekea. Ile mapenzi nimeona. Ile sherehe nimeona. Mimi nitaenda kule embu kuambia our man, our brother, our son is at home in Wote. Ame amekaribishwa kwa mapenzi. Gai amuradhi memuno ando awote ni mwegwe kiembu keu ni muambe gua finally allow me uh, um, uh, my brother mutula governor ni kuambie kwamba his excellency the president william ruto would have been here today but due to unavoidable circumstances ikabidi aende mahali pengine lakini alinituma na salamu mmepokea salamu zake Na kaniambia atakuja kuwasalimu na amenituma na gift yake ya kuanzishia bishop diocese yake ya 1 million shillings. Ambayo mimi mwenyewe nitapatia bishop diaweze kuendelea na kazi. Otherwise mubarikiwe sana ni tumwende ete munona mugauka kutokea dia embu. Thank you very much Asante. Asante. Uh, well, uh, Governor Wavenya please come. As Wavinya is coming, MCA, MCAs were not recognized. From Mateso, Chalomumo, MCAs, what is my many? All these MCAs, Wapigeni Makofi, from, from various places were not recognized. Asanteni sana Mwishmua Mateso, Mwishmua Chalomumo for the leadership. Wavinya? Asante sana to the Apostolic Nuncio of Kenya and South Sudan, Habatus Van Megan, our Lord Bishops, Fathers present, na ando maitu mo kamba na wote mweaseo, did recognize His Excellency Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, the vice, former Vice President of the Republic of Kenya, our Chief Justice, and all the pro all protocols observed, and my uh, my fellow governors, my bishop, Babayetu, 
kutoka Machakos Diocese sisi tunafurahi sana leo Huyu mtoto tumetembea na wewe umebeba vizuri tumemdeliver kama amesimama Machakos uh, Diocese ya wote itaendelea vizuri wote imetoka katika Machakos sisi tumemchukua bishop tumekaa na yeye uh, for that one day <laughs> one day and uh, now we brought him to wote i am very sure bishop atachukua hii diocese to higher levels Mheshimiwa Sisi Mbarire, sisi tunashukuru kwa sababu wa embu, nyinyi ndio mtatuzaliaga tu mabishop. All the bishop that come to Machakos come from Embu. Na sisi tunashukuru sana kwa sababu sisi ni ndugu. Na bishop wetu Kasioka ni wasiokamusi. Ni wasiokamusi, karibu musi, tutembe twiki ndukimwe na tuyaka ikanisa yetu ya katoleki nini sikikamba kiuni wewe nienda kwa samwanyo also tini tu kitana tongo ya inge we came with so many leaders from machakos we have our senator kavindu there we have uh, our women rep uh, kamene kasimbi i've seen our member of parliament mheshimiwa mule hako hapo mca mcs na wale mp wengine wote sisi tumekuja hapa machakos kutoka machakos kusindikisha bishop tuhakikisha umefika vizuri kwa sababu waembu aliniambia tumekupatia hakikisha amefika bila alama amefika huko kwenu bila alama eh yeah. mtamchunga mtachunga bishop asanteni sana tushikilie kanisa yetu na mungenikubalia tu niseme hii mvua inakuja tafadhali tulime si ni sawa eh mbwa ndio kite ni muemie na silabayo ule inaona ndo wengi ni maemie tu ime na tiba anda tikengeti na dhina wa chao wa leo na tisobe ya bishop bishop ni wa usobiwa kanata tio mwewe akanivie ibinde ya mwongo ya kanisa tutethewe na nau nunduke kama hii tunaenga mbesa na hiyo kanisa tuyekata tuyaka tukwatie kanisa hii tu ya katoleki gavana wa vinyandeti akiwahimiza uh, wakaji wa eneo hili kuhusu umuhimu wa kufanya kilimo anasema kwamba karibu mvua inafika na maeneo haya bila shaka kama ma maeneo mengine nchini wa ukulima wanaanda upanzi wa mbegu kwa hivyo wanamkaribisha kwamba askofu atawasaidia kujenga tuko kwenye eh, muda wa mwisho sehemu ya mwisho ya ibada takatifu ya misa ambayo imekuwa ya kukweza eneo la wote kuwa jimbo kamili na kumtawaza askofu wa kwanza wa jimbo hili mwashamu Paul Karuki Njiro The next speakers please come quickly we have run out of time so I'm, I'm donating all my time now to all of you Governor Malombe please come, Terry Mbaika please come, Susan Kiamba kujeni hapa. So that uh, since mume kuja mbali, I will give you an opportunity to say on my behalf. Aya, kuja. And speaker uzikae mbali. So all of you will speak for the next five minutes, mumalize. Nani asante tu? Aya. the apostolic nuncio Uh, viongozi wetu wa kanisa ambao wako hapa wa, wote viongozi wa kisiasa akiwemo kiongozi wa Wipa Party leader na former vice president of the Republic of Kenya Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka Eugene Wamalwa Siwezi sahau my former colleague governor governor Kibwana na governor wale wengine na wengine wa kisiasa watu wetu wa jimbo hili na wengine wote ambao wametoka hembu na mahali pengine Mwia ni museo Nevinda on there 
ye nume teketui na nendo kuweta kindu kimwe ambacho akija tajwa Diocese ambayo ilianza and I should be corrected if I'm wrong ilikuwa diocese ya Kitui ya Catholic kisha ikafuata ya Machakos na Machakos ikafuata sasa ya Makueni na kumbuka nikiwa Machakos boys early 1970s nilikuja hapo from 5 and 6 72 and 73 Bishop Abanas Kioko ndiye alikuwa bishop wa Machakos Machakos yote pamoja na Makueni. And uh, wakati tulichaguliwa pamoja na Provesa Kibwana 2013 kuna kitu kimoja alikuwa anataja wakati wote. Anataka Ukristo uendelee na hapa Makueni wawe wamepata diocese yake. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo nina furaha nyingi mimi mwenyewe na najua pale yeye mwenyewe ana keti ana furaha and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the new bishop Bishop Kariuki kwa sababu ya kukubali aje aanze kutumikia watu wetu hapa. Mimi kama mmesikia mimi natoka Kitui na ilikuwa ni lazima nije hapa leo niungane na my colleague governors kwa sababu walio tutangulia mabama governor ambao walitangulia wakati tulikuwa tulikuwa tunapatiwa bishop wetu bishop Mongela ambaye yuko hapa wa Kitui the three governors wa hii eneo ambao tunaita south eastern si lower eastern south eastern Kenya walikuweko kule kitui dhokwe kwa hivyo uh, leo niliacha mambo ingine ili hata mimi niwe hapa nitajaribu kufanya vile governor Cecil Kariuki amefanya tumesikia mmeshindikiza vizuri mimi nilikuwa jirani mzuri lakini kiuliza wa Mutula nitasaidiaje nikiuliza <laughs> governor wa Vinya wanasema wako sawa lakini mimi nitatakuja siku yangu ingine. Kwa wakati huu shukrani sana. Mwino watano ando maitu. Mwino watano ando maitu. Yunge mina. No kwa asia tangavana. Netu mudo kuma. Nimukwewa. Na tuko katwin na ulao mbano witu wito waseke of South East and Kenya Economic Block o mituki. Tukedo wa mkuta nova wote na tukaa mwelesia mnango kwa wakati huu ni utanu ndo akwidwa na diocese mheshimiwa wa Julius Malombe akitoa shukrani na ujumbe wake kwa waumini Dr. Damaris Maweo I'm told you are here very good mpigeni makofi Susan Yes this is the MP of the bishop I The first elected MP lady in Makweni. Aye. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati all protocols observed. Mimi niko very excited to host the new bishop. And before I say that, I want to congratulate all welcome all of you. Congratulate you for making this day really great. I feel very happy and I feel very excited. I'm very excited to see all the governors here, our party leader and everybody. Asante. Second, let me congratulate the bishop. You are in safe hands. Makueni is safe. And uh, you can be you can be sure with the mother we you are safe. Thank you. I Baba ago imu mbindi yena no kwa kwa otherwise twemwe asante thank you jina salamu the time is up nitazima mic mbaito moyaseo congratulations to the newly elected bishop kwa masitwani to veronica nduva na ninye ps wa agenda and affirmative action thank you 
Uh, it, we, we say observe. mutatis mutandis. Yani you apply the way she has done it. <laughs> allow me <laughs> to observe the protocols as earlier stated. Uh, my name is Teresia Mbaika. Numeta Makuene, PS wa Devolution. Welcome, Bishop, and we are happy to have our Bishop with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Speaker. Uh, bishop, all protocols observed. Uh, bishop, to Lugua and Ejana, to Tagua and Kesho. Kama speaker wa bunge kwa niaba ya wawakilishi arubaini na nane wa kaunti ya makwedi tutafanya kazi na kanisa katoliki na makanisa yale megini yote asante. Thank you. Nime Maliza. Thank you very much Bishop. I, I mentioned to you yesterday na ninataka nerudie. Sisi wanasiasa tumejaribu kujaza uwanja huu. Na tumejaribu kuleta watu hapa. You are the first person to bring this crowd here. First one. Sasa, ilo ombi ya yule mzungu walikuwa na uliza watu wote wako wapi. Imefanyika tarehe 30, mwezi wa 9, 2023, courtesy of you. So, nimejua that wote, this Unoa field is now blessed. Sasa, tutaanza mikutano yetu vizuri. Kwanzia sasa. We will work with you and we are happy that... Uh, Makweni now has a diocese. Party leader, please come. I'm done. Thank you. No, we, we just uh, want them to, sal to basically just wait. Um, all of them. This is Senator Agnes Kavindu, because the bishops need to see that. Senator Manzo is the host senator. Um, Mwana Mule, member for Matungulu. Mwengi, member for Kibwezi West. Uh, Kimilu, member for Kaiti. Uh, Zambia, member for Kelome. Mwishmua from Babasi, Mbwana Momanyi, uh, a member from Embu. What was her name, sir? Mpunji. Ah, uh, he's a host. Well done. So that at least a picture all of you would be a wonderful thing. Deputy Governor, Mwishmua Kamene. Hey? Kalema. Kalemba. Ah, you know, that's wonderful. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, you, you are going to miss this photo. That's wonderful. By the way, Mwishmua Momaji from Bobashi is a ranking member of WIPA. I'm happy to see that you are the chair of the Catholic parliamentarians. Mwame, uh, chukwe your picture. Oh, Kalemba. Kalemba ni mo... Kalemba, thank you. Wona ba Kalemba, na wene Kalemba. Thank you. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. We in the museo. in the one day. And I end in a move. Thank you. Excellency, the nuncio, uh, apostolic nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan. The country of South Sudan sounds very, it's a very important thing. We will have to look for time to share our experience. Um, our host, our, our new arrival in Wote, uh, Bishop Kasioka. Ungekuo uh, kukitu ungeto Musioka. But Machakos and Makwene love that name. Mengi ya mezungumzwa nefura atele. Hata kuwaona Wote. Bila kufuatilia itifaki Naomba tu ni msalimu wa skofu mpia Na kusema I had a problem why you chose Wote But now I'm completely at peace The name Wote And because I'm reminded that uh, a book I read uh, A Man for All Seasons Where um, the Pope himself is referred to as a Bishop of Rome and, and that is the, the bottom line of servant leadership, that even the, the leader of the Catholic faithful is at the end of the day a servant leader. We have heard the message 
of um, uh, His Grace the Bishop. And dear, I dare not speak because. Speaking. And, and uh, His Eminence, Cardinal Njue, is not speaking. I think I should really not even dare speak. But thank you, Bishop Kyoko. Allow me to call my brother who wants to bring the nexus between Bungoma and Machakos. Mweshimua um, Eugene Wamalwa, because he produced Bishop Kingo. I think he did. Thank you. One minute, sir. Mweshimua Eugene Wamalwa. Mavinda onde. Asante ni sana. Kwanza na waletea salamu kutoka huka western. Mwerembe. Asante ni. Mimi nimekuja hapa kuleta pongezi. Na hongera zangu kwa kristu wa katoliki wa jimbo mpya la wote. Mimi ni mkristo mkatoliki kutoka jimbo la kitale. Na tulikuja hapa miaka kadha iliopita na bishop mpya ambaye alikuwa anatoka Bungoma anakuja hapa Machakos Bishop Norman Kwa hivyo tukipongeza bishop wetu mpya ametoka Embu nasi pia tunapongeza bishop Wambua sababu yeye ndio kama mama amezaa si ndio Na hongera yetu ni kwamba amechukua muda mfupi sana kuzaa eh, 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 hapa <laughs> So bishop hongera Na tuko pamoja na pia tuseme tutaendelea kuwa pamoja. Lakini zaidi ni shukuru the Catholic Church for standing for peace and justice. And particularly when we had tension in the country, our bishops came and spoke to us. And say, top mandamano, give dialogue a chance. Your lordships, we heard you and we are making good progress at Bomas. Under the leadership of Stephen Kalonzo Msioka as our team leader, we can assure the country we are on the right track. Lakini hata hivo tunajua ya kwamba kuna wale wanapinga the dialogue at Bomas. Even those who have gone to court to challenge it. There are those who have stood on political platforms, including those in government, who are opposing these talks. So we want to ask you, ya kwamba tukiombea jimbumpia la wote, ili liweze kufanikiwa Muwendele kuombea the dialogue at Bomas tuweze kufanikiwa tulete inchi yetu pamoja. Haswa kwa mambo ya nja, kila pahala kuna shida. Hata sasa jana wametangaza ya kwamba kuna ile maindi ya yelo inakuja. Mwisho nikisikia maindi ya yelo nilikuwa kijana mdogo sana. Huko kwetu western tulikuwa tunaita maindi ya sipindi. Hapa sijui nasikia mlikuwa mnaita katongelele. <laughs> Imerudi. So this country needs prayers as we go forth. Thank you and God bless you. I thank you, my brother Eugene. Well, I was sitting there. A former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, actually came, gave me a call. And he didn't seem to have known we were here today. Mwishmo Uhuru Kenyatta metuma pia salamu zake. Mwona ispokea? Na jana tulikuwa na magavana wa upando wa zimio uh, uko Mombasa. And our brother Raila Odinga na our sister mother Karua pia wakatumana. I think as you settle, Bishop, we'll all come to you. So be the next. People caught this wonderful servant of God. This has a symbolic effect. Do you recognize, looking at you, Mwishimua Sicily, wili ota ambaka uzume kala nbaika, wili ota filomena mbetewa mwilo, you all look the same. And remember that from Wate all the way to Marsabit, because I know there's also a Catholic bishop in Marsabit, the former eastern province, could you continue to be the shining example when it comes to service, to our country, to God. And I like that matter of servant leadership, which I heard from uh, Bishop Paul Kariuki. Here in Wate, you are getting installed today as also a symbolic effect. Recently, tulikuwa pa na maandamano. Mimi karibu niliuwa wapale. 
lipigwa tia gas ya ajabu au watu wa wote inyumwe wa kindu kile kaula wa kitu yebano wote because people are just exercising their constitutional right and they nearly got killed bishop moheria you will recall my brother when you came with bishop martin kivuva and told us to kind of look at what was happening at that time wakati wasukuku ya pasaka we listened to you the church as a voice if my record serve me right we'll be waiting for the representatives of uh, i think the episcopal conference on monday or tuesday in bomas to receive representations on how we can put our country together this country needs fixing by the church by all of us and if it is a country under the rule of law but above all under god then we behoves all of us to live together peaceably remember the teaching of the bible as much as lieth in you i think it's in the book of either ephesians or corinthians live peaceably with all men bishop kasioka kuka kwa kwa omonde ne kwa to via ya medo i alato na na mo etina okona tia gas na tu kwa tia baba ike the way ingi kwete kenda kame no ndo ando ma kenya makwazi ma kwenda uh freedom the true freedom and so mushima mutula junior was telling me we buried three people uh, two of them were actually imported and masi ayo makueni na mo ka wathi kwa baamusi kamwana kanini brian kadiwe na kisasi emali kwa motuse na motuse ndia akuona never mind these things must be behind us now they must be behind us and that is where we have taken it upon ourselves to bring this dialogue i'm not afraid of any people challenge these things i want to see actually which kenyan does not want kenyans to live together we will be waiting to see may god bless us all bishop kasioka karibu sana nyumbani if you allow me i'll come to greet you against all the protocol and bishop norman will forgive me i'll give you a small envelope and i know we're coming back because mheshimiwa kabindu the senator mheshimiwa vinya have to take off with me now and i bring you greetings of the county women representative mama county mheshimiwa rose museo our silver champion for peace amen amen asanti Asante ni wa bishops asante to our county and the government rep- um, leaders for those talks before we finish up reception will be as follows the bishops governors mps they will they will be they will hit at the father's house the pmc at the church grounds the choir also at the church grounds embu people because they are many they uh, their food is prepared in unua primary on this side so people from embu will go off this side that is where food has been prepared for them priests will eat at the parish grounds where they there is the parking the car parking the parish grounds where there is the car parking i would like to take this chance also to remind each and every one of us as catholics we have a national prayer day next saturday the national prayer day all the bishops will be there all the priests are reminded and all the christians kwa hivyo sisi wote kama vile tumekuja hapa 
to prepare kwenda kwa our national prayer day and lastly we are now going to have the exit procession we will request the new bishop to be left behind kama kuna yeyote ambaye yuko na gift usiende na gift yako askofu ataachwa hapa utampea gift na maaskofu wale wengine pamoja na mapadri wataondoka kwa hivyo bishop will be left here don't leave with your with your present he will be here um, to receive your presence and with it i now invite the bishops to rise and we have the exit procession Kwaya please wimbo wa bikira maria stanza kama bili hivi alafu tuondoke kama kuna yeyote amepoteza chochote alete hapa Semwanadiwe Religious sisters and brothers, let us join the lunch serving point. Ambayo metenga wa mapadre kule kule upande wa kanisa kule ku mewe kwa magari. At the parking lot in the church compound near the father's residence. That's where the religious and all the priests will take their lunch kindly. Kama umepoteza kifaa chochote tafadhali njoo hapa mbele unidhibitishie ni chako uweze kukipokea. Asante. Na then we wanna kindo cha huu tafadhali uikiete. Oh, 
ambayo ulipo imekuwa ni sherehe ambayo ni sherehe ya kweli sherehe ya kufana sana tuko kwenye uwanja wa UNOA shule ya shule ya msingi kando ya uh, katedrali jipya kabisa kwenye Afrika Mashariki na Kati katedrali ya mtakatifu Yosefu mfanya kazi jimbo jipya kabisa bara la Afrika jimbo la wote ambapo imekuwa sherehe ya kuikweza jimbo hili pamoja na kumsimika askofu wa kwanza mheshimiwa askofu Paul Kariu Kinjiro ambaye amechukua jina Kasioka amesimulia mwenyewe kwamba babu yake alikuwa ametoka maeneo haya kwa hivyo amerudi nyumbani na tunampongeza kwa kukubali wito wa baba mtakatifu wa kuanza kuchunga uh, jimbo hili na imekuwa sherehe ambayo imehudhuriwa na viongozi wengi wa kanisa viongozi wa kisiasa kama ulivyoshuhudia katika uh, ujumbe na yote ambayo yamesemwa hapa ni kwamba sasa baraza za maaskofu limeongezeka kwa mmoja na baada ndaye macho yote yatamuelekea mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu hapa nchini mwashamu askofu mkuu Bart van Megen aweze kutaja atakayechukua nafasi ya kuwa askofu kwenye jimbo la wote tayari ameshataja kwamba uh, uh, msimamizi wa kitume msimamizi wa kichungaji atakuwa askofu mkuu uh, Anthony Moheria ambaye ni askofu wa jimbo kula nyeri kumbuka kwamba jimbo la M liko kwenye eklezia ama eneo la kanisa katika jimbo la jimbo la Embu kwa hivyo asifu mkumu atashikilia mpaka pale ambapo askofu mpya atatajwa kutoka hapa ni kwamba imekuwa sherehe ambayo imesisimua ime mji huu kwamba mji huu wa wote sasa umekwezwa ngazi kwa na viti viwili hapo awali na kwa sasa umepokea viti vitatu maana yake ni kwamba akiti cha uh, mamlaka maana yake executive seat governor anakaa hapa iko na uh, kiti cha uh, mahakama ama uh, 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 judicial seat iko hapa na hatimaye sasa iko na uh, uh, kiti cha kanisa ama ama cathedral ya askofu iko hapa kwa hivyo ni uh, sherehe ambayo yapatia mji wa wote na kutoka hapa kumbuka kwamba siku ya kesho eh, tarehe ya kwanza ya mwezi wa kumi kanisa mama kanisa ya katika mwezi wa rozari mwezi wa mwezi wa shughuli za kitume na kichungaji kuombea shughuli zote za kanisa popo pale tulipo na tukiongozwa na mtakatifu uh, uh, Teresa wa mtoto Yesu ambaye ni msimamizi wa uh, uh, kazi za kichungaji mwenye heri uh, ja ko ambaye sala yake toko kisali pamoja tunaanza eh, ma, matangazo yetu tunaanza kazi ya kitume mwezi wa kumi hapo kesho kule katika uh, kanisa la mtakatifu Teresa wa mtoto Yesu eneo la NYS Ruaraka kutabaruku kanisa jipya na baadaye tukatakuwa pale pale katika eneo la Jimbo Kula Nairobi kanisa la mtakatifu ama uh, malaika mkuu Mikaeli katika shughuli zingine za kichungaji kumbuka kwamba kanisa baraza la maaskofu umetualika kwenye eh, siku ya maombi ya kitaifa jumosi jayo tarehe saba kwenye mlimo wa mama yetu wa jimbo katoliki la nakuru tuweze kusali pamoja na waumini wote tuombe taifa letu tuombe mahitaji yetu na mahitaji ya wengi kwa niaba ya wote waliofanikisha matangazo haya kwa niaba ya wadhamini wetu Bachish Insurance kwa niaba ya Fred ambaye ni dereva wetu na a, 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 mchanganuzi wa a, sauti Uh, Felix Juma, Charles Mavaton, Brian Boji pamoja na Kevin Kitavi. Kule studio ni Veronica Neema, msiri wa ishara pamoja na engineer Peter Mwangi, mwanzangu Vincent Shumila Mkabuchini ni kuwashukuru wote ambao wamefuatilia matangazo haya. Kumbuka kwamba ukiwa maeneo haya sasa utakuwa ukihudumiwa katika kanisa la wote katedrali. Na tukishukuru eh, Kimuri FM kutoka Embu na radio zote katoliki katika taifa letu ambao wamekupeperushia matangazo haya kutoka katika eneo la wote. Vijana hawa pengine wangependa kusalimia vijana umetoka wapi? Tuambie jina yako unasema wapi wewe kama ni mkatoliki? Jina lako ni nani? Benjamin Motesia. Unasema sana gani? Kaseve Sokota High School. Kwa darasa la nini? Form 3. Form 1 masomo yako yana yanaendeleaje sasa? Yanaendelea vizuri. Askofu wewe wana? Eh. Kisha kusaidia askofu wewe. Ah, utakuwa mkata utakuwa tena kama sasa hapo mwenyewe. Ah, utaenda kama sasa hapo mwenyewe. Kaseve ni St Peter Catholic Church. Katolika Church. Kuna mwingine hapa tumbe jina lako baba. Ito Jera Jisila Mosioki. Unaenda kama sasa hapo? Unaenda katolika katoliki kutoka mkoani ni jimbo. Unapokea swa kanisa? Eh, mimi wana mimi. Unapokea kitabu hapo mwenyewe? naitwa Michael. Michael ha, sasa kuna mwingine hapa, mama vijana kuna mwingine hapa tambe jina lako. Mimi naitwa Nicholas Monia. Unashiriki wapi? Kutoka Jimbo la Machakos. Haya parokia gani? Parokia ya Chumvi St. Christopher. St. Christopher, wewe ni mwanaume wa Katoliki au mwanaume wa Mimi ni mwanaume wa Katoliki. Unafanya nini pale kweli? 
Bwana kwetu mimi ni secretary wa wanaume katika station yetu out station yetu. Eh. tunataka wanaume wale wote ambao hawajakuja wajiwajikishe. Mtakatifu Christopher tunasema ni patron wa travelers. Hapo chumvi ni, ma, ni Mombasa Road. Kwa hivyo watu wengi wa wakai sana. Kwa hivyo ni kuja na kwenda. Kwa hivyo tunaomba wale wengine ambao hawajashiriki katika uh, shughuli za wanaume waingie tuende pamoja. Asante yeah. sana. Kuna dada mwingine anataka karibu hapo tusalimie mimi jina yako dada. Catherine, Catherine Zisa. Catherine Zisa kwa kanisa. Mwala Parish. Sen. Mwala Parish. Mtakatifu nani? Hati. Kwa kanisa yako ni gani? St John's Kange. St John Tangi. Ni baadhi ya wa Katoliki hapa ambao wamekuja kusherekea ibada yetu ya misa na tunawapongeza Katoliki hodari basi baya wote waliofanikisha matangazo haya kutoka uwanja wa shule ya Unoa tukukusha studio Mungu akubariki na kukulinda ni mimi ndugu Francisco Mkabuchini Peter Waweru Kapuchin TV Ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu kweli kweli ni baraka kweli ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu kweli kweli ni baraka Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Una persona sin techo que muere en la calle nunca va a aparecer en la primera página de los buscadores de internet o de los noticieros. ¿Cómo hemos podido llegar a este nivel de indiferencia? ¿Cómo dejamos que la cultura del descarte, en la que millones de hombres y mujeres no valen nada frente a los beneficios económicos, ¿Cómo dejamos que esta cultura domine nuestras vidas, nuestras ciudades, nuestro modo de vivir? Se nos va a endurecer el cuello de tanto mirar al otro lado para no ver esta situación. Por favor, dejemos de hacer invisibles a los que están al margen de la sociedad. Ya sea por motivos de pobreza, de independencia, enfermedades psíquicas o minusvalías. Centremos en la acogida en acoger a todas las personas que nos necesitan. La cultura de la acogida, de recibir, de dar techo, de dar hogar, de dar amor, de dar calidez humana. Oremos para que las personas que viven al margen de la sociedad, en condiciones de vida infrahumanas, no sean olvidadas por las instituciones y nunca sean descartadas. Pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Caption TV. Ile support tunapatia Caption TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe. Kwa sababu una ujuzi. Lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi. Tuendelee kufanya kazi. Baby number five one zero six 
seven eight account name caps tv giving faith kids daily devotions for africa i'm going to follow jesus this is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop a habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go, even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa God is good all the time and all the time God is good and that is nature wow. My name is Joy from Our Lady of Fatima PNC. Today is on Saturday, September 30th. Welcome to, welcome to Faith Kids Daily Devotion for Africa. Our readings today come from the book of Zachariah, chapter 2, verse 14, and it says, Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. The daughter of Zion refers in the Bible to the name given in inhabitants of Jerusalem. She is invited in a great joy because the Lord comes to deal in her. We see that there is a loving relationship between God and his people. The Lord wants him to deal in to her. Are we ready to welcome him? Let us prepare our hearts to give him a warm welcome. Let us pray. Lord, we welcome you into our lives. Amen. Thank you. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa I'm going to follow Jesus. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop a habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Af Dear friends, my brothers and sisters, and all people of goodwill, peace be with you all. My name is Father Arnold Ishirima, the superior of the Capuchins in Kenya. On 5th October 2023, the Capuchins will have our annual family day and a fundraising to be held at St. Jude's Chapel Rafter Road, Westlands, Nairobi. The Holy Mass will begin at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, followed by opening of the year of the Golden Jubilee and the fundraising. The fundraising is aimed at raising funds to continue building the residential home for the Capuchins in our headquarters at Rafter Road, Westlands, Nairobi. The project cost is Kenya shillings 18 million. Once again, we kindly request for your generous support. You are also welcome to join us in this function. You can send your generous financial support to pay bill number 7062124. Account's name, put your name. May God bless you all and your family members in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Celebrations will be live on Capuchin TV and its social media platforms. Capuchin TV, 
your staunchly Catholic identity channel. Kanisa Katoliki kote duniani lina desturi ya kumheshimu mama Bikira Maria kwa namna ya kipekee katika mwezi wa tano au Mei na mwezi wa kumi ama Oktoba kwa miaka michache iliyopita Kanisa Katoliki hapa nchini kupitia kwa baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki almarufu kesi CCB uanda siku ya maombi ya kitaifa kwenye mlima wa Bikira Maria mama yetu asubukia Nyuma yangu ni kanisa linaloendelea kujengwa kwa heshima ya mama yetu Bikira Maria wa mlima wa Subukia hapa Subukia. Nje ya kanisa hili ni uwanja ambao kila mwaka maelfu ya waumini kutoka pembe zote za Jimbo Katoliki hapa nchini wanakusanyika Jumamosi ya kwanza ya mwezi wa kumi kwa sala ya kitaifa ambapo mwaka huu inaangukia tarehe ya saba ya mwezi wa kumi. Sherehe ya Bikira Maria wa Rosari inatarajiwa kwamba watafika zaidi ya waumini 1035 kutoka pande zote. Siku hii ya maombi ya kitaifa hufanyika kila Jumamosi ya kwanza ya mwezi wa kumi. Mpangilio wa kuadhimisha siku hiyo ni kwamba kupitia kwa tume ya haki na amani ambayo sasa inajulikana kama idara ya haki na amani baraza hilo la maskofu hutoa kauli mbio ama wazo kuu ambalo huwasaidia waumini kusali kwa jambo maalum maombi hayo ya kitaifa huongozwa na muungano wa jimbo katoliki mbalimbali ambazo zimegawanywa katika makundi mane kama wilaya za zamani kwa lugha ya kimombo mkusanyiko wa jimbo nyingi za kanisa huitwa ecclesiastical province ama metropolitan see tunawaalika wote tarehe saba mwezi wa kumi, barabara zote zaelekea hapa katika shrine yetu tuweze kuja kwa pamoja tuweze kuomba tuombe wanafunzi wetu wanaojitayarisha kwa mitiani yao tuombe nchi yetu hiyo na amani na maendeleo tuombe familia tuweze kukua kama kitu kimoja kwa hivyo kama askofu msimamizi wa katika baraza la maaskofu kwa kitengo cha pastor and lay apostolate na walika nyote tuweze kuja tujumuike pamoja tusherekee tumshukuru Mungu yale ambaye ametubariki nayo na kumuomba baraka zake azidi kuwa nasi kama nchi ambayo tumeikabidhi kwake kama Mungu na mwokozi wetu tuombe maendeleo nchi yetu upatanishi fiama tofauti vya wana siasa ili tuweze kuongea lugha moja familia iweze kusimama ikiwa thabiti e, mwabwana wapende bibi zao mabibi vifi, vile vile na kuwapenda watoto wetu watoto wanapitia changamoto nyingi sana hali ya madawa kichwa ngumu katika shule ukosefu wa mahali pa kuajiriwa hayo yote tunapeana kwake Mwenyezi Mungu lakini pia tufurahi tukiwa chini ya mama Maria ambaye anatuambia tunaambiwa hakuna yeyote alikuja kwa mama Maria na kumwomba chochote akabaki bila kutimiziwa e mama Maria tunaomba kupitia kwako ili Kenya iwe nje ya amani na tuishi tukiwa watu ambao wamepatanishwa Jumamosi tarehe saba mwezi wa kumi, ndio siku ya maombi hayo ya kitaifa mwaka huu Kwenye kalenda ya kanisa takatifu tarehe saba ya mwezi wa kumi kanisa katoliki umeshimu Bikira Maria kwa sifa ya mama yetu wa Rosary takatifu kama kawaida maombi hayo yatafanyika kwenye mlima wa mama yetu wa Subukia kwenye Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru katika mlima huu unaitwa mlima wa Subukia ama mlima wa mama Maria Uh, tangu ilipoanza imekuwa ni sehemu moja ya muhimu sana katika kukuza imani katika jimbo letu la Nakuru na hata kuza imani katika nchi yetu ya Kenya hivi tunaona kwamba mara kwa mara wakristo wanakuja kutoka pembe zote wakija kusali uh, ni mahali pana utulivu wa aina ya kipekee ni mahali ambapo pana mazingira yanayowezesha mtu 
kupatanishwa na Mungu na kuweza kusali katika njia ambayo inafaa. Wanakuja watu wengi kufanya retreat zao hapa, recollection zao hapa na wengine pia wanakuja kufanya njia ya msalaba na hayo yote yanasaidia katika kukuza na kulea imani yetu. Ibada ya misa itaongozwa na metropoli ya Nairobi inayohusisha jimbo kuu la Nairobi, jimbo la Kitui, jimbo la Machakos, jimbo la Ngong, jimbo la Nakuru, jimbo la Kericho, jimbo la Jeshi na kitinda mimba jimbo jipya la wote. Waumini wote mnaalikwa na tunawaomba wahusika wote hasa mapadri wote eh, katika parokia zenu muendelee kuwatangazia waumini katika matangazo kuahimiza umuhimu wa kujiunga na maaskofu wetu wote katika Jamhuri ya Kenya kwa maombi haya kitaifa na mada kuu mwaka huu katika moyo ule wa sinodi eh, tuna, tuna eh, tunaambiwa pale eh, journey together as a reconciled family yani kusafiri pamoja kama familia iliyopatana au ili, familia patanishi au familia ambayo uh, ime, inaishi maisha ya kindugu maisha ya msamaa na Ijumaa kabla ya siku hii ya tarehe saba mwezi wa kumi, tutakuwa na misa ya vigilia kwa hivyo na waombeni Tafadhali tuweze kukutana huko Subukia, tuweze kuombea taifa letu la Kenya, tuombe familia zetu, tuombe vijana wetu, tuombe muombe Mungu kwa nyakati hizi za uchumi eh, tunazopitia Mungu atupe nguvu na faraja na kupitia maombezi ya mama yetu Bikira Maria. Na tunaambiwa katika maandiko kwamba sala tunayo inayotolewa katika jumuiya katika wawili watatu au zaidi na kwa imani sala hiyo inamfikia Mwenyezi Mungu so tunapoamini hivyo tunapoomba kwa pamoja tunapopiga magoti tunaponyenyekea mbele za Mungu kwa pamoja bila shaka Mungu ataendelea kuyasikiliza maombi yetu na kuibariki nchi yetu na kuitakasa ili tuone ya kwamba basi tumeishi katika utulivu na matumaini na amani siku zote so Nasema karibuni sana sana siku hii maana bila nyinyi waumini na watu wote wenye mapenzi mema basi siku hii haiwezi eh, kufana uh, vile. So karibuni sana. Tunana kweli itafanyika vizuri. Kwetu ni kuendelea kuomba ili Mungu afanikishe hii siku ili sisi sote tuje kuomba na kuomba hapa katika mji mtakatifu wa Mama Maria. Inatarajiwa kwamba wanakuwa takriban elfu tano kutoka jimbo hizo watausika. Kuna ligana na kila diocese kama Nairobi sasa sisi tunahitajika tuwe 2000 na crew wawe 1000 uh, DUD wawe 200 Kiricho 500 Machakos 500 uh, Kitui 500 sasa tunaye uh, diocese zingine ile imezaruwa juzi wote hatujui watakuja wagapi kati ya vivutio vikuu kwa maujaji kwenye mlima wa mama yetu wasubukia ni maji ya baraka katika imani yetu sisi wa Kristo wa Katoliki maji ya baraka ni sehemu kubwa ya imani yetu tunaamini kwamba baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu zinatumiminikia kupitia kwa alama mbalimbali na maji ya baraka ni sehemu moja wapo ambapo padre ama shemasi ama askofu anatumia maji ya baraka kubariki waumini na kubariki mali, maisha na vyombo vyao. Hapa kwenye mlima wa Subukia, wa Mama Maria, wanaofika hapa mahujaji, hawajihisi wamekamilika kabla hawajarudi nyumbani na maji ya baraka kwa ajili yao na kwa ajili ya jamaa zao. Kwa hivyo hapa tarehe saba ya mwezi huu ama tarehe saba ya mwezi ujao wa kumi, itakuwa ni foleni ndefu ndefu waumini wa katoliki wakisadiki kwamba Mungu anawabariki kupitia kwa maji haya ya baraka maji ya baraka kwako yanatukumbusha ubatizo wetu ambapo tuliondolewa dhambi ya asili na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kutubariki na kubariki mali yetu kupitia maji haya ya baraka kwa imani tunayabeba na kujibariki nayo. Vile vile maujaji hupeleka maombi yao kwa Mungu kupitia kwa Yesu Kristu na kwa mombezi ya Bikira Maria. Kanisa ndogo iliyo nyuma yetu 
ndio ilikuwa kanisa la kwanza hapa kwenye mlima wa mama ambapo mahujaji wakija kwa imani wanapanda mlima huu wanafika pale kwa hiyo kanisa ndogo wanatoa sala zao kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia kwa maombezi ya mama Maria hapo wanaamini kwamba alivyo waambia uh, wanafunzi pale kwenye kana ya Galilaya fanyeni atakalo waambia maombi sala shukrani za waumini zinafikia Yesu kupitia kwa maombezi ya mama Maria kwa udhamini wa baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki hapa nchini almarufu KCCB Runinga Captain ndicho kituo tambulika na cha kipekee kitakachokuletea ibada hii Katoliki moja kwa moja utakapokuwa wewe ambaye kwa sababu moja ama nyingine utaweza kwenda safari hadi subukia ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha maskofu mapadri watawa wa kiume na kike na wakristo wote kwa jumla kutoka pembe zote za majimbo yetu ya hapa Kenya katika National Prayer Day ya mwaka huu mwaka elfu mbili na ishirini na tatu ambayo kiini chake ni kusafiri pamoja kama jumuiya uh, moja ama kwa jumuiya patanishi hivyo ni kusema kwamba tunaendeleza ule mwito wa sinodi wa kutembea pamoja tutembee pamoja kama familia ya nchi ya Kenya hivi tunajua yale mambo ambayo tunayapitia na tungependa tuje pamoja ili kuweza kumshukuru Mungu kwa yale ametujalia na hasa hata katika changamoto tulizo nazo pia kumuomba ili akaweza kutupa njia ya kuweza kupata suluhisho katika maisha ya watu wa Kenya ili tuendelee kumcha Mungu na kumtukuza katika njia ambayo inafaa. Kwa hivyo ni kusema njooni tuombe pamoja tumshukuru Mungu na tuombe jumuiya zetu, tuombe nchi yetu, makanisa yetu, familia zetu ili tuwe tumepatanishwa, tupatanishwe na neno la Mungu na zaidi ya yote Kristu mpatanishi wetu. Endelea kutazama runinga captain kitambulisho chako katoliki From time immemorial the Catholic Church has taken a leading role in the integral formation and transformation of people in the global platform. From spiritual, health, educational, socio-economic and development programs, the Catholic Church stands tall as a devoted champion and partner in the progress of all peoples in the human society. Here in Kenya, the Catholic Church partners with both the county and national governments in many areas of development for the well-being and better governance of the citizens. One such area in the National Youth Service NYS within the national government's disciplined forces. We visited the NYS national headquarters in Dwaraka, Nairobi after an invitation by the Catholic chaplain. And this is what we found out. My name is Father Joseph Jenga, a priest of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. Uh, my home parish is St. Joseph, uh, Loreto Limuru. Uh, I joined the uh, service the chaplaincy last year uh, started the uh, first of august 2022 chaplaincy office uh, coordinates the spiritual welfare uh, of the whole of the national youth service uh, it is a service that uh, takes care of uh, close to let's talk uh, conservative figure of around uh, 60000 of uh, members of staff and uh, the service men and women 
all over the country. This is the church for the headquarters. We have 22 units that are spread across the country. We maximize the grassroots networks. We are able to engage uh, the chaplains that are working within those uh, regions. Uh, for example, we also collaborate with the prisons, uh, prisons because they have networks spread all over the country to request also their chaplains also to be able to be taking care of our servicemen and women and staff in those far flung areas. So we thank God uh, for the Father to have come, but uh, to say that uh, we would actually need any assistance in order to uh, facilitate and actualize the spreading of the gospel and actually uh, assisting in construction of churches, equipping of the, where they, they have facilities, they may they need muskets, they need uh, uh, liturgical vestments, they need liturgical books, and uh, they also need uh, maybe programs also to help them uh, to strengthen their faith and to nourish it. And we thank God for the Father that you've come. But now that we have completed our church at the headquarters, it will help us also to spur of that spiritual father to be able to now to go out uh, to all across the units spreading a positive image that something is happening from the headquarters that we have now our church there the Kavli community at the nys headquarters in waraka acknowledges and appreciates the steps of progress that they have enjoyed over the time with the assistance of the nys directorate uh... It is better to open the church on 1st of October. That is the coming Sunday. We have to accept to Natarajia some guests from other areas and some other judges around the, our units. Some of them will come from Gilgil, Yata, Naivasia, and all the, the way from Tana Basin. To Natarajia, Pia, or Christo, Wengi, Kutoka, our neighbors, from other institutions, our neighbors, like St. Benedict's around here, they will come and witness our official opening of the church. The good relationship between the Catholic Church and the NYS Directorate led to the donation of a piece of land where the Catholic faith community has put up the newest church in town, St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Church. But how did this Jumuya come into existence? In the year 2004, the late Archbishop of Nairobi, uh, Dig Mono Anseki, posted a priest to be in charge of NYS chaplaincy. That is Father Mike Wall, came in as the chaplaincy in 2004. But even before he came in, there was an idea of constructing a, a chapel where the young men and women would actually hold their place within the compound. And what we are seeing today is the accumulation of that dream from that time. Uh, looking at NYS per se, chaplaincy, is a church predominantly of young people. And when you talk of young people, we are looking at a congregation whereby 90% of the people who congregate every Sunday for players are the youth. So we can actually talk of this church as being the church for the youth. Whereby the officers who serve at NYS and their, their families also join the young men for service. They only form 10% of the congregation of this church. I'll say it has been a journey from 2004 to where we are today. And it started as a prayer item for the Christian playing for them to have a place they can actually be able to hold their players. Because before that, what we have been happening is we have been using one of the halls within the institution to conduct our sad player mass. And in 2018, we moved from a prayer item to actually ground breaking. In the typical Kenya style of building together or Harambe, this Nasset faith community, which is majorly composed of youthful service men and women, owned up the idea of putting up a house for the Lord. Initially, before the construction of the church, we were doing our mass at a hall 
for the whether students used to eat or to do other activities. As the population grew, we saw the need for the church. And also the facilities we were using, they were not designed uh, to fit the functions of the Catholic Church. So we were forced to have a uh, place placed purely for Catholic uh, worshippers so that they can do, we can do our uh, rituals, the way Catholics do our things. So far so good. We started this church way back before and we have spent more than 20 million in construction of this church. And the way going way forward, we expect more work to be done. For example, after consecration, we have not purchased church pews. With the major church building now completed, the Patron Saints Day 2023 will be a historical occasion for this very vibrant community. Counting few days, we are going to have our church dedicated and consecrated this coming Sunday on the 1st of October by His Eminence, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi, John Cardinal Njue. Mine is one to invite every one of us uh, to come to Sunday's event, which is, a, is an historical event uh, for the church, historical event uh, for the service, because uh, it has taken long for us to be here. It has taken even, we can talk of over 20 years, for us to be where we are. So as a service, as a church, we have something to celebrate. So as a committee, we've been preparing to have that event, which will be animated by uh, His Eminence uh, Cardinal Jue on Sunday. Mass will be starting at 10 uh, a.m. and going to up to around 1 uh, p.m. We expect to have uh, more celebration that day because as a church, uh, that will be our family day. As a church, that is when we want to be happy that at least we've made a big step. So even going forward, we've ag agreed as a church that on 1st of October, or else a date around that time, the first week of October, is when we'll be having our, our family days. So Sunday, we'll be marking our first family day, and we're inviting every one of us uh, to be part of that uh, big event. But how is the seed of faith planted, watered, and nurtured in this chaplaincy? In, in this church, we have about nine small Christian communities, uh, out of the nine small Christian communities, four of the small Christian communities comprises of staff uh, which have been partitioned regionally or, or in blocks according to where they reside within this station. And we also have the youths who are on majorly on vocational training. They have been uh, also allocated about three jumias according to their various institutions. We also have a, a group of youths who reside in the, at the staff quarters, so that is already eight. And we have a group of uh, small Christian community who reside outside this uh, station, but they have been through this uh, institution. But after they have finished their trainings, their vocational trainings, they have discharged from the service and they reside outside, but they still come here for uh, their pastoral care. So we, we, we have also assigned them as, as, as a small Christian community. So therefore we have approximately nine small Christian communities in this uh, church and also various small groups in the, in, in the church, especially we have the we have uh, the PMC who are still under formation, and we have the MYN. We also have uh, the Catholic Men Association who are registered with the Archdiocese, the Catholic Women Association who are registered with all the Archdiocese also. One progress story leads to another. After the opening, blessing and consecration of their church, what next? The number of the young people being served by this church will actually require us to expand this church. That's my vision for this church, that we'll actually have a church that serves the need of the, of the young people within and also the neighboring community. We have two institutions nearby here. We have got the Kenya Utari College and also Kenya Power College. These are institutions that are catering for young people. And this being a, a church for young people, we'll actually find that we'll open the doors for them 
And if, when you look at the location of this church, whenever the elector general then was giving us the land, he had an idea that this church should not only cater for the people in NYS, but should also cater for the, the communities allowed. And that's where, how we ended up locating the church right at the entrance of NYS headquarters so that anybody can actually be able to walk in, come, worship, and walk out. So ideally, we are looking at a church that we, we, which is actually on the move. A church for the young people, but the church on the move. I'm going to start another project of buying the views because currently we are using the plastic chairs, which, are, which we bought because of the space we were given was not ours. So we were to use, after that we store our uh, furniture somewhere. So because now we have a permanent place, now we are going to procure views. That is the, the next uh, step in our growth, in our development plan in this church. Uh, when you see outside, we have not done also landscaping. We are also planning to do a, a good landscaping. Like we have a fence around to demarcate between the church and the, the compound for the other work. Uh, we have also some underground rooms, more space for either choir or meeting rooms. They are yet to be completed. Uh, after that, we are planning to build a house for father, where in case, uh, especially Easter times, it is, there is a lot to be done within those few days. So he has somewhere to rest or to, to change. So he will have, we will have another uh, construction to make sure he has uh, a house, father's house, for resting. And uh, if he has a visitor and he needs uh, no, somewhere to sit, we will use that house for the same. This Sunday, 1st of October, the Feast of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, Capuchin TV is proud to witness and be associated with the good news of the official opening, blessing and consecration of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Church at the National Youth Service in Raraka, Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. The Holy Mass will start at 10 a.m. led by His Eminence John Cardinal Jue and will come to you here on Capuchin TV. Capuchin TV congratulates the National Youth Service Catholic community for this achievement. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your staunchly Catholic identity channel. Hello, viewer of Capuchin TV. My name is Father Bonaventure Lucidio. I am the National Director of the Pontifical Mission Societies, PMS. We are the mission societies, and there are four mission societies. The first one is called the Propagation of Faith, the Society for the Propagation of Faith. The second one is the Society of St. Peter the Apostle, and the third one is the Society of the Holy Childhood, and the fourth one is the Pontifical Missionary Union. These are worldwide networks of prayer and charity on behalf of the Holy Father in his solicitude for the young churches and mission dioceses in the world. There are 1,200 dioceses in the world that we call the mission dioceses. And all the 27 dioceses of Kenya are part of the mission dioceses. And so we are looking at the Pope and through this kitty of the missions, we are supported 
to do our works of evangelization. We are called Christians because we are baptized. And after our baptism, we are sent to the whole world to be witnesses and ambassadors. One way in which we can become witnesses is through prayer. When we pray for the missionaries, when we listen to the stories of the missionaries doing great works in mission lands. And from those stories, we are energized, we are pulled, we are attracted to the works and we say, what can I do? And what I can do is pray and give. Donate 50 shillings, 100, 200 to the PMS. And all this money is put together in a basket which we call the Solidarity Fund. And from the Solidarity Fund, dioceses in mission lands, bishops in mission lands, they make applications to these PMS, Pontifical Mission Societies, asking for support. And so we support these dioceses, we support these bishops to run their courier with an ordinary subsidy. We support these bishops to train the catechists through a catechist subsidy program. We stand with the bishops to build churches, to put up rectories and presbyteries, to put up convents for priests, religious men, and women. We stand with the bishops in their, their quest to reach out to all peoples through the Catholic social media and especially the TVs and radios, through the department called Cygnus, who support the Catholic radios and TV stations. We stand with the bishops in mission territories when we donate our shilling. And you can donate to us through our pay bill number 164085 and write missions or write a check a check of one million, 100,000, write it to us so that we can do the work of evangelization. Write to us, KCCB PMS, and we shall receive. And what you give will go to the evangelization of this world. Thank you and God bless you. On 22nd of October, 2023, is World Mission Sunday. Our theme this year is Hearts on Fire, Feet on the Move. October is the month of mission. No one is too rich not to receive, and no one is too poor that he has nothing to give. We have something to give, and we have something to receive. PMS, you give to us, we give to the needs of the church. God bless you and thank you very much. Donate to PMS, serve the church. St. Francis Community Hospital Kasarani is known for its good services that has left their patients impressed and satisfied. I'm Sister Esther Werimu Mwangi. I'm a little sister of St. Francis and currently I'm the CEO for St. Francis Community Hospital. St. Francis Community Hospital is a level 5 teaching and referral hospital that is located along Kasarani Mwiki Road. It's an internship center for medical doctors and also we host a nursing training school. St. Francis is known to offer different specialized services to assist the community. We have gastroenterology services, we have ENT services, we have got a renal unit with a specialist nephrology on board, 
Uh, we also offer specialized services on laparoscopy and other minimal access services. We are offering urology services, OBSGYN, reconstructive surgery procedures, we have neurology services and gynecology services, among many other services. On the 4th of October will be a special day for St. Francis as they will be offering 50% discount on consultation fee, breast ultrasound scan and obstetric ultrasound scan. In preparation and readiness for this day, we shall be offering several community outreach sensitization services in different places and mostly partnering with churches and other local organizations around Kasarani as our responsibility and as our sensitization to the community. St. Francis Community Hospital will be visiting different churches on 24th of September to offer their services. First one being the Queen of Apostles Catholic Church, Vicar Road. We shall be going to ACK, PCH Sieko Church, which is in Hunters Kasarani. We shall be going to St. Mary's Catholic Church, Maruroi. We shall also be carrying our services and rendering our services to St. Gabriel Catholic Church, Thome. On the 1st of October, we will be considered a community outreach, sensitization and services to different churches. ACK St. Anne Church, Mwiki, Christ the King Parish in Gidurai, Mary Mother of God Catholic Church, Gidurai, St. Dominic Catholic Church, Mwiki, and St. Monica Catholic Church in Jiru. Our services to this community, we shall be offering free consultation services during our outreach services. We shall be offering free screening for HIV and AIDS. We shall be doing cervical cancer screening, especially with Viavili. Uh, we shall be also using, be carrying out a blood pressure tests, BMI, free warming services, nutritional counseling, dental and eye checkup. As the Cancer Awareness Month is approaching, St. Francis will be offering the services to their patients. Uh, in line with the Cancer Awareness Month in October, St. Francis will be carrying out breast cancer screening at 50% uh, discount with, special consul with specialist consultants. We shall also be doing prostate cancer screening at 50% where our specialist consultants will be sitting to do this. And we shall also be doing a cervical cancer screening using the pap smear approach. So these are the services that we are offering on this day. We welcome uh, our community to support and come in large numbers to benefit from these services and to turn up in those churches and places that we shall be offering our services. Thank you so much and you're welcome and feel free to celebrate this great day with us. Don't be left out as Archbishop Philip Agnolo will be presiding over the Mass. Vitangaza Institute for Interreligious Dialogue and Islamic Studies invites scholars of different specialization and backgrounds to the inaugural conference on the role of religion in academia, which will be held on 28th and 29th September 2023 at Tangaza University College. This special conference aims at uh, providing a platform for researchers and practitioners to present new research insights and developments in the area. Areas of interest for this conference include religion, religion studies, vis-a-vis -vis other aspects of knowledge in the academia. Among the guest speakers that we shall have. We shall have uh, Professor Yunis Kamara from uh, Moy University, uh, Professor Sahaya Selvam from Tangaza University, and uh, Professor Mary Gitui from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Tangaza University College welcomes you to this important and distinct inaugural conference. This uh, conference coincides also with the kickoff of the Viriad uh, project, which is the virtual exchanges in religious Euro-African dialogue, which is, as I've said, uh, funded by the European Union. And uh, we have uh, nine institutions which are working together, five institutions in Africa and four institutions in Europe. And the project is going to last for three years and the main target are uh, young uh, scholars from Europe and Africa to exchange on uh, religious uh, ideas 
in order to avoid in the future what we call extremism and any discrimination based on religious identity. For more information and inquiries, email us on inquiries at tangaza.ac.ke Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives. Hello viewer of Capuchin TV, my name is Father Bonaventure Lucidio. I am the National Director of the Pontifical Mission Societies, PMS. We are the mission societies and there are four mission societies. The first one is called the Propagation of Faith, the Society for the Propagation of Faith. The second one is the Society of St. Peter the Apostle, and the third one is the Society of the Holy Childhood, and the fourth one is the Pontifical Missionary Union. These are worldwide networks of prayer and charity on behalf of the Holy Father in his solicitude for the young churches and mission dioceses in the world. There are 1,200 dioceses in the world that we call the mission dioceses. And all the 27 dioceses of Kenya are part of the mission dioceses. And so we are looking at the Pope and through this kitty of the missions, we are supported to do our works of evangelization. We are called Christians because we are baptized. And after our baptism, we are sent to the whole world to be witnesses and ambassadors. One way in which we can become witnesses is through prayer. When we pray for the missionaries, when we listen to the stories of the missionaries doing great works in mission lands. And from those stories, we are energized, we are pulled, we are attracted to the works. And we say, what can I do? And what I can do is pray and give. Donate 50 shillings, 100, 200 to the PMS. And all this money is put together in a basket which we call the Solidarity Fund. And from the Solidarity Fund, dioceses in mission lands, bishops in mission lands, they make applications to these PMS, Pontifical Mission Societies, asking for support. And so we support these dioceses we support these bishops to run their courier with an ordinary subsidy. We support these bishops to train the catechists through a catechist subsidy program. We stand with the bishops to build churches, to put up rectories and presbyteries, to put up convents for priests, religious men, and women. We stand with the bishops in their, their quest to reach out to all peoples through the Catholic social media and especially the TVs and radios through the department called Cygnus who support the Catholic radios and TV stations. We stand with the bishops in mission territories when we donate our shilling. And you can donate to us through our pay bill number 164085 and write missions. Or write a check, a check of 1 million, 100,000. Write it to us so that we can do the work of evangelization. Write to us KCCB PMS and we shall receive and what you give will 
go to the evangelization of this world. Thank you and God bless you. On 22nd of October 2023 is World Mission Sunday. Our theme this year is Hearts on Fire, Feet on the Move. October is the month of mission. No one is too rich not to receive and no one is too poor that he has nothing to give. We have something to give and we have something to receive. PMS, you give to us, we give to the needs of the church. God bless you and thank you very much. Donate to PMS, serve the church. St. Francis Community Hospital Kasarani is known for its good services that has left their patients impressed and satisfied. I'm Sister Esther Werimu Mwangi. I'm a little sister of St. Francis and currently I'm the CEO for St. Francis Community Hospital. St. Francis 